Ricky. Ricky. Ricky, oh. wake up! Uh, who is that? Oh, it's me, Ricky. Father Krampus, here to pass judgment on you this time of year. And I brought along a friend you might recognize. Is that you, Marie? Yes, Ricky. It's Marie, your dead wife. Now you'll have to overcome your true self and resist the urge to lay and have sexual intercourse with the... What, what, what are you doing? Ricky. Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. Sir! Uh... Okay. I'll see you next year, then. Ricky, you, uh, have failed to overcome yourself. Ricky, it is I, Krampus! Come to judge you once again to see if you can overcome your true self. And I brought your dead wife, Marie, again. Now let's not have any mistakes like last year, eh, Ricky? <laughs> hey, wait, 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 Ricky, yeah. Ricky, yeah. Ricky, yeah. Ricky, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. Ricky, it is I, Krampus, for the third year in a row. Come to see if yeah. you can yeah. overcome yeah. your true- yeah. Wait, Ricky, yeah. Ricky, 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 Ricky! Yeah. I didn't even get to finish the spiel! Prisoners of Gazar is an actual play mature D&D podcast hosted by me, your DM, Taco King. Our players, Dongle playing Amp, Grouchy Nuts playing Rowan, Taylor playing Andy, and Ten Lenders playing Satch, NPC playing Stumbo. Well, that's a, sorry for the delay on posting. I have had family member shit. Um, I have been sick. All this bullshit. But this is finally the delayed Christmas episode special that I have uh, concocted. Well, yeah. This also takes place before episode 10. Or 11. Yeah, episode 11. Whatever the last episode that came out. Man, I'm fucking disorganized. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Let's jump right into it. All of you had a similar dream. A dream that seems like a distant memory. And we're going to zoom back, have the harp, harpsichord play, and zoom back to the night before you guys head out towards Dragon Sphere Castle. You're all in Ricky's cavern, um, and everything everything's really peaceful. If you guys remember, um, it was snowing. It was cold. It was a very Actually, blissful I... night, and Ricky, Ricky was uh, making sure everybody like set, set got got like tucked away. He went to his room, and he, Ricky opens up a book. And you guys don't see this, but I'm just saying uh, for setting the scene. And Ricky, Ricky looks up and he sees the snow. And he see, he goes, "Oh, it's time for the once a year visit." From old Father Krampus. And he starts reading from the book. Twas the night of Krampus. And all through the house. Not a soul was awake. Except Ripke who is fucking a mouse. The ones in his basement. Yes he was plowing. And yes Amp you were napping too. Uh, this is. I'm. Uh, fuck I couldn't rhyme that with plowing. Dumbass. <laughs> So yeah. Actually, you know, since Ten has like moth memories, does that mean Ricky might try to take advantage of Ten? Oh, everybody! I mean, hey, Ten. They have I to thought we restored that. We already restored it. This is a prequel. We, we oh, ha- pre- no, no, no. We we restored the the moth memories got restored before oh, uh, before this happened. So oh, yeah, top surgery, it's, didn't I? Yeah, uh, actually, it's before. Yeah, yeah, we did the top surgery before we before or the night before you guys rested up to leave out. So, yeah. So you have your top surgery. You're still freshly wounded from that. Um, Ricky is set down for the night, and all of you head to your respective room. The warmth of the cabin is really, you know, it's really feeling nice on this this very chilly and snowy night. Um, in peace or Stumbo, you're still kind of reeling from your top surgery you had earlier that day, and uh, you, Ricky Ricky kind of pops in and says, "Hey, uh, just uh, just guys, letting you know that uh, it's Krampus night, 
I don't know if you guys uh, celebrate that back from where you're from, but uh, make sure you're all prepared for that. I am uh, currently having sexual intercourse with this rat that uh, seems to be sentient that I found in the basement. Also, the chest mandibles you gave me. I want to give you a, a present back for Krampus Night. And Ricky walks in and hands you a wooden, like a, a big wooden piece of like plank and a knife. And he says, I, he- I heard you said you you lost your stuff earlier today. So I thought, thought you know, since you gave me these very nice breasts, I, I thought I'd Thanks, do something man. about it. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, too. <laughs> these things have been really great. <laughs> I can't wait to masturbate with them. But, uh, yeah, and as he says that, uh, where is, where, what was the room situation? There's three rooms in this house, and Ricky has one of them to himself. There's a basement. Where would everybody be nestled up? Mm-hmm. I reckon I sleep I'll with the guys, I'll let you guys pick out where you, know. where you want to be. You don't have to sleep, but where are you nestled up at? Oh, yeah, Taco, question. Did sure. The- did that do many things history. right rewrite history for me to be here since this takes place before episode yes. ten? Yeah, uh, awesome. The deck of many things happened before, or not before episode ten. It's basically episode eleven. Yeah, before you guys head off to Dragon Sphere Castle, it's the night before that. Ah, uh, okay. So, but yeah, where where is everybody nestled up? I'll let you guys choose. NPC, I established you're you're inside a room, and Ricky popped in. Just you're. you're you know, checking out your stitches from your top surgery. Dylan. What about the rest of you? Probably in the kitchen. Okay. You're in the kitchen. Yeah. Pro- I'll probably go with, uh, what's his fucking name? I take it Taylor's Andy, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I, I take it I go with him since that's my All full right, line. We're just fucking chilling out in the living room. Okay. Tindler's since I don't that. fucking sleep. Like I said, we're just chilling out in the living room. I'm probably fucking same. Just okay. chill. So yeah, so you, all you guys are chilling in the living room, and Dongle, give me a perception check, Dongle. All right. Since you're in the kitchen. Uh, it is an 18 plus. Uh, five, it's a 23. Okay, so yeah, easily. Uh, having the experience you did in that tavern that one time in, um, uh, what was that, Seacumber. Was it Seacumber? Yeah, I think it was Seacumber. Yeah. It's been so long ago, I barely remember it. But... You kind of keep your eye on the windows where you're in the kitchen now now to see from prying eyes and people, you know, fucking around trying to find out. And you see a large figure with horns, fur, just dart by the window. But it doesn't stay in the peripheral of the window for long. Uh, But you, you most definitely saw something. And then everybody can hear on top of the roof the thunk, 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 thunk. Just loud footsteps. Rats, fucking rape dwarves. Not yeah. again. Holy shit, it's fucking Santa. Oh! <laughs> so, actually, actually, as you say that, Ricky stops and he looks up. He's like, he's here. It's it's that time of year. Father Krampus is came. Uh, he looks to you, but he's like, Father Krampus has came to, to give us our yearly lesson. Uh, quickly, quickly, let's go to the living room. Meet, meet with your friends. And Ricky starts calling out to everybody uh, that's, well, basically Dongle. Calls out to you, Amp. He's like, come come to the living room. Father Krampus is here. He all right, up. well, I'm going to fucking, yeah, I'm going to pack my shit up and go into the fucking living room. Yeah, we all we all bunch up in the living room, and Ricky was, Ooh. Ricky's sitting there. He's like, so, uh, do you guys, have you guys ever heard of a, a creature called Krampus by chance? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not of good connotation. So, so you guys are under. You know what's about to happen, then, right? Rape. Maybe. Okay. Cool. And as Ricky says that, his eyes roll in the back of his head, and he falls down, completely unconscious. I don't think we were ready for this. And all of you feel <laughs> this right. heavy sleep. Come on, and all of you. Even though you try, you know, your your body, like with you, Dongle, and Mr. Potman, you feel the world get darker. But it's not sleep. And just as you feel that, it, it you're, you're in the same spot. Nothing's changed. Except Ricky is now standing up. So Ricky looks around and he's like, ah, I see you guys have awakened. Well, it is, uh, it is that time of year. 
Father Grampus is about to test us. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, we don't really have a choice, so. I mean, no, you have a choice. You could just not do the test, but, you know. You could die. Krampus, Krampus rewards people that do that 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 do the test, you know. He rewards us. Um, although, I gotta say, I have such an issue with this test every year. <laughs> I do. I do so much. And as a uh, Ricky says that you hear a female voice come from the corner and a long blonde haired woman steps out and says, you really do big boy. I'll be waiting in the room like I am every year. And Ricky watches like Ricky's fucking his jaw drops to the floor and his eyes pop at his head and to- tongue rolls out. And he's like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Ooh, God. Ah, ah, ah. Takes every, like, Actually, can I have a picture of Ricky doing that? <laughs> <laughs> fucking takes every wolf. I think that's what it was called. But yeah. Uh, yeah. you see this very vol- voluptuous woman with long blonde hair. I mean, she just radiates beauty. Uh, walk down the hall and into Ricky's bedroom. And Ricky is just like, Oh boy, <laughs> it started so, so fast. Every year it gets faster, it gets faster. Well, uh, we gotta, we gotta wait for a second because, uh, Father Krampus hasn't spoke. And as, as he says that, you hear a booming voice echo through the house saying, Ricky, 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 and friends, I've been monitoring you for m- the lesser part of this year. Especially your friends. They're more new. I take it you guys are ready for my tests. I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're as ready as we'll get. Wow. I guess there's no need for introductions. But I'm going to introduce myself anyway. I am Father Krampus. I watch for the vile, the evil... The people who do wrong constantly. Okay. Uh, I know someone who's going to have a real problem this year. <laughs> now, obviously it's a test, so I'm looking for a certain aspect for you to complete. Each of you have your own special part to this. I reward those who do right. Ricky, we're going to have a good year this, right? And Ricky is like, I... Y- Yes, completely, completely. Flashbacks to how many times he got STDs on the road. <laughs> Ricky, like, and you could tell there's some underlining meaning to that. And with the woman walking through immediately, he kind of can guess what the fuck's about to happen with him. Uh, and He's about to get like, All of you will be visited by your tests. Make sure you complete them. Or don't. That's fine. I reward those faithful in overcoming their true selves. Overcoming the bad. And then the, the voice like like cackles and howls with laughter and it echoes through the house. And Ricky goes, Wep, um, I know what I should not do, but... So do you do you guys need me? Do you guys need me? Nah, you go. You go. That lady's waiting on you. So Ricky, yeah, you should get to her before you even finish the sentence. Ricky's already walking down the hall. If anybody wants to peek in uh, on Ricky, they can. And probably would, given his fucking complete and total lack of tact. You also, <laughs> well, just saying, it might give you a hint to. Uh, I would rather not watch Ricky's fucking nasty old man sex. Thank you very uh, much. <laughs> I will go watch Ricky have old man sex for five <laughs> seconds to see what is happening. Uh, I'm so, back. So give me a... Uh, and be say, you know, I mentioned old man sex. Uh, here you are. Yeah, I, I yeah. just came back to that and that was the worst time to come back. Alright, Taco, what is uh-huh. it? Anyways, give me a stealth roll, Dongle. All right. Unless you uh, want to just like, kind of be not conspicuous about it. Yeah, I'm just gonna open the fucking door. So as you open the door, 
Uh, Ricky turns around and is like, oh, you're going to watch me. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. I've never gotten shot. All right, Falco, roll for the circumference of the woman's anus. Uh, circumference of the woman's anus? Uh, yeah, roll for circumference, Falco. Come on, it's just going to be like that one. I don't one, have uh, to roll because I know what uh, the lady looks like. He wrote that down already. Well, I know what the lady looks like. Um, imagine your perfect woman in the amount of ass you want. And I, I know this is like horny teenager talk. But oh, it so it's like a demon. It's a demon. It changes based on perception. Oh, okay. Uh, that's what that's no, what Krampus no, meant no, by no, Ricky you're, making you're, bad choices. Re- oh, okay. re- reading way too much. Into it. I'm saying the woman is drop dead gorgeous in many aspects. She has the perfect amount of ass with the perfect amount of boobs. And again, I know this is horny teenager talk. But uh, okay, my idea and Jesse's idea, two very different things. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. But what? Okay. Fine, what society yeah. would consider beauty oh, standards. For circumference, as well. <laughs> what society, or you live in a society, what society would consider beauty standards, she would be very high up on the chain, okay? Um, you can fucking pull on my train. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> you, you just Church opened the chain. door, Dongle? Yeah. Did you, you didn't try doing it stealthily or nothing, right? No, oh, I just opened the door and peek in. Okay. So as you open the door, uh, Ricky looks back. He's like, "Old oh. simulator." He's like, "Okay, um, it's you. Uh, how have you been?" And uh, she's she immediately goes, "Do you really want to ask questions? You know what we're here for." And she fucking just spreads her legs wide open. And Ricky's mm-hmm. like, "I'm not supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to do this." Ah, what the hell? And he immediately penetrates her and starts gyrating really fast. And he ejaculates within like thirty seconds and falls back. All right, I'm gonna close the door. Well, no, no. as he falls. Oh, okay. How f- do you? When do you I'm close closing the, door? the. I'm closing the door right around penetration. Okay. Well, you close the door and then you hear about three seconds later, or about thirty seconds later, a loud thunk, a loud, really loud thunk, like a body hit the ground. All right. Well, I, I'm just. I'm just gonna go back. I'm fucking. This isn't worth. it. Uh, if anybody else wants to, <laughs> wants to investigate that, they can. No, I don't care. Hold on. No. Okay. I... Ten, how about you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, ten totally ten would. take a peek. Yeah, ten No, I, I wouldn't. I don't know. If you tell ten know it's a normal... Happened. No, tell ten it's a normal house. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm saying I'm giving you the breadcrumb here, and you guys are ignoring the breadcrumb, but got it. Hey, ten. Fun. I, did, I didn't ignore it. I saw him for mm. having sex with someone, and then I quit. Uh, I'm going to give you. Another you want free bread money? Bread come. I'm going to give you the bread or another bread crumb real quick. Uh, give me the whole loaf. Rowan, Rowan comes. Uh, goes. It was Rowan. He's having sex with the Rowan. No, Rowan <laughs> comes out of another room and is like, "What was that loud? Th- oh, hold on, let me do Rowan's voice. What was that loud thunk? I heard it come from Ricky's room." She opens the door and immediately, oh no, she runs in. And you just hear her scream, oh no, Ricky's dead. And then um, the door shuts. Hey, hey real put- quick. Yeah. Real quick, talk out. Can you do that voice and say the Muffin Man? Oh no, <laughs> the Muffin Man. He was the Muffin Man. Not the Muffin Man. <laughs> the <laughs> drop buttons. <laughs> the gumdrop buttons. That, that has always been my fucking girl voice. And. I've known forever someone eventually called me out because it sounds like fucking gingerbread man for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's Rowan fucking... screams out that, oh no, Ricky's dead. And Krampus ca- or starts cackling. And he's like, ha 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 ha! Every year, Ricky doesn't even last any, any longer than he did before. Ah. Ah, it's so funny. So funny. I really. Well, I mean, it's kind of funny. You're weird, bro. No, not really. They... Okay, well, I mean, you guys, you guys are going to not find it funny when it's your test. It's just funny. You know, weird. Humor subjective. Yeah, you're weird, weird bro. Yeah, you know what? Okay. You know what? I see, I see. We have a bunch of fucking negative Nancys in this house. <laughs> I've, well, <laughs> I haven't found anything. Even, you could say. Your I'm friend... not the one that sits there and baits old men into having sex. I, 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 listen. You you make a recreation of his dead wife, and he just can't help himself. He's got to have sex with it. 
Like you're That's supposed to. I mean, weird. how would you like if I did that? That's kind of like weird. asshole. Well, move. you're not supposed to. It, to. To teach him to not just have sex with everything. Because That's not he, a very good. You're fight. not ever <laughs> going to manage that. Very, you're going to be <laughs> like, wow, he does it every single year. You know, maybe you should stop and teach him a better lesson. Like drugs are bad. <laughs> well, then, that's the lesson I taught him because this year I killed him. Yeah, he wouldn't How have did I teach him anything? I heard all his penis. Well, dead people can't dead. learn. I mean, he's dead now. He can't. He he learned the. He paid the ultimate price. But how's he supposed to learn anything if he's dead? Well, you well, just got a stick off. Well, I mean, well, like, how do you, he keeps getting STDs because of me? You know, I, I've, you know, I first, at first, I made his balls really small. And Hold then, on, I'm gonna, while, while while Krampus is talking, I'm gonna walk back into the room and I'm sure. gonna bring Ricky back from the dead. Okay, uh, <laughs> with what? Uh, Return from Death. That's a class feature. Okay, uh, go ahead and use it. What what does it do right. exactly? It co- it costs five of my like pool points, and it lets me br- it lets me bring them back to dead like revive would. A minute they can't like have died of old age. It can't restore missing body parts. Just so, you know, if they if they're dead in the last minute. So as as you uh, as Krampus say, you know, first I made his balls really small because he had like a really long shaft, and I thought small balls, long shaft would. You know, turn him off to showing him that would just his be penis. Funny. Oh, yeah, that's that's what he said. And then, like, then I started making him get like ton- more susceptible to like STDs. And that's you, not gonna do anything. To and it, 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 uh, yeah, I know, I know. He just he just started fucking get rid of little. That made his balls really big, like heavy. Did like his, I made his ball, ball balls really really big. And you know, I just thought this year I'd fucking kill him. But uh, so as you do return from dead. Uh, it does not have any effect on his body. That's unfortunate. Uh, you can roll an Arcana check if you want, because you use the class feature like that. That's also uh, insanely overpowered sure. as a class feature. What the you know, fuck? this is all probably an illusion. The fact that you know, that's ten plus uh, my Arcana, which is Kobe it's a twelve. Did. I got a twelve. So. What you can tell is the shell of Ricky's body. It's almost as if his soul's been sucked out. Um, the body itself is not... He died like he lived, getting sucked off. <laughs> and Kramp- <laughs> Krampus sees you try to bring him. He's like, ah, ah, that, that, nope, that's not going to work. I killed him this year. No, he's going to stay di- dead. I'm not fucking with his penis anymore. And, you know... Some some of the other people are like it's kind of weird. You keep Here, you touched penis. his penis. I didn't touch his penis. That's gross, to man. You gross, to bro. I didn't have to you didn't even you wouldn't even get paid for it, dog. Oh, you do it for free. You do it for free. You know what? What is this fucking loser doing here? He does think, it for you free. You know what? The 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 voice like echoes and like shakes this time. He's like, I think we'll do yours next. Okay. okay, that sounds like fun. And you Ooh, guys hear a loud boom into the uh, the living room. Yeah, well, he's just you, now. Most of you guys are in the living room. Uh, you hear a loud boom, and there is an old lady sitting at the table, uh, and she has this large jigsaw puzzle that is completely destroyed in front of her. And she looks directly at Taylor or Andy. She's like, "Oh, ah, Andy, my grandson. How's it going? How are you?" I need to help with this jigsaw puzzle. Okay, sure thing. So, Who I, her? so I Kill have her. I have this uh this blue sky piece that is supposed right. to connect to this other blue sky piece right here. All right. right? Yeah. Yep. So I connect them, right? Yep. So I take this blue sky piece right here and connect it to this blue sky piece. Yep. Okay. So I okay. So connect these pieces. Yep. Okay. So she connects those pieces. And as she connects them, her hands start to morph, and she takes on the form of a moth. And, oh, it's actually sat. She takes on the form. Uh, hey, 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 Andy. All right, talk. I'm just going to go unpack. This isn't my worst fear. This is just people I fucking loathe. <laughs> Sounds like, close you know, okay, hey, you. G- g- Give me I this. Love. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'll explain at the end. Just just g- give me it. Just give me it. Shut up. And I'll explain it. L. So, uh, so hey, uh, uh, Andy, can you, uh, can you, can you tell me, uh, what exactly, like, how, how to work the sniper rifle? I, I did, no. like, 
Like you, you pull the trigger. Uh huh. So you pull the trigger. Mm-hmm. Okay. You could what next? No, you figure it out from there. It's up to you, man. It's your so, gun, not mine. As you say that, uh, <laughs> as you say that, uh, Taylor, you feel all the energy in your body start being sucked out of you. Immediately being forced. No, that was, that was my average conversation with ten letters. Sucks the energy <laughs> from my fucking body. <laughs> <laughs> and your body goes limp. And That's Taylor, fine. Taylor, mm-hmm. you're for now. You are uh, no longer able to use your body. You are. Uh... That's good. Give me actually, Taylor. Give me an Arcana check. Okay. Let me fucking go back into this town. What are you doing on my walkway, scumbag? That. <laughs> You know what's bad? I thought Taylor. It's fucking was too, Taco. Anyway, uh, you feel you are. You could feel that you're a ball of energy, Andy. That's good. Um, and I, I'm going to be completely honest. I expected his to go a lot. I had so much more shit for him to. Yeah, say. I know, Taco. I don't know what you were expecting other than just my I actual normal you were doing response. The right I only have for ten letters. I thought. Why you the fuck? The right thing? What do you mean the right thing? I it tends a fucking adult. <laughs> I'm not related Surprising. to Ten. Ten's not family. I'm not obligated to help him. I don't love Ten. Ten's a fucking adult. He can figure shit I out do. for himself. It would be better... Actually, he Ooh. would be better off, Taco, to figure shit out on his own anyway. So, it, you know... I'm doing him a favor. You know what's worse? You know what's mm. really, even worse? I had so much more planned for your thing. Yeah, you know, I don't care. I, 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 feel, I feel so cheated. Because literally, as, or as Andy's body goes limp, Krampus goes, Krampus goes what, wait a second, um, uh, uh, hold on, fuck, that didn't even, that took like yeah. two minutes. No, yeah. This I fucking speed really fucking in this funny, shit dude. because I couldn't possibly give a fuck about that. Hey, Krampus is like, oh wait, uh, oh, well, I mean, be quiet, you're a ball of energy, if if you, if they I'm gonna don't, put my fucking balls on your jaws. If if you if they don't if they don't like do this, you're you're gonna you're gonna fucking <laughs> good. I, I might kill you too. Good. I might kill you like I killed Ricky. Good. <sighs> Fine. <Okay. laughs> Damn. Krampus, go. Krampus, you know, Krampus like rubs his temple. You can't see it, but he's rubbing his temples. He's like, okay. Okay. Maybe you should have, uh, you know, Maybe you shouldn't talk to a fucking pod and be like, "Okay, I'm gonna have you talk to these fucking retards about something." No, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. What lesson did he learn, John Krampus? Huh? Uh, well, yeah. What lesson, lesson was that supposed? What to be, lesson huh? did he the learn? Lesson was supposed to be patient. Be patient with the people that are mentally challenged. I'm, I'm not sorry, doing. How that. long have you been doing this? I have been doing this for many years. Mr. You fucking Clown. suck at it. I'm sorry to say. Mrs. Clown? Mr. Clown? Mrs. Clown. Wouldn't you like to know? You don't have a penis. He Ooh, had an yes, he can't take it away. I mean... Watch him. He's gonna give you dick nipples. <laughs> I was gonna say, you would I never. Could, I, could, I mean, I could. I could give you dick nipples. I actually do that. Hey, man, I, haven't, Krampus, do know, that. I haven't heard the word. That would actually be so interesting long. instead of this stupid bullshit you're doing. You know that what? would actually be interesting. What even is that? How are we? In, you've never seen dick nipples. It literally just nipples. But dick dick. nipple. Dick nipples are literally all in the name. It's nipples. Oh, yeah. It's like they replace your. They replace your nipples, but it's just giant penises. Just all where your nipples are. It's you the same. It, like that. Usually, it's on anime women that are very hairy, drinking urine out of their boot, and shits coming out of the nipple. What the fuck? It's very particular pictures. Anyways, uh, Krampus goes. Okay, okay. You know what? Um, wait, how about uh? Maybe you should have done something interesting. You, you, uh, you, ball of light, and he like puts you in a jar. So now you're completely muffled. He's like, Could you, just. I don't if you do it, make sure nobody else is talking so I can actually muffle it. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you do it, like, actually wait for nobody to talk, and I will fucking muffle it and leave it in. I don't give a shit. No, I'm not playing like for real. I'm saying in character. I'm just in the background. You can just hear that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, anyways, uh, so which one of you wants to face your... Actually, no. You can just hear me shouting the spurs in your mouth, dude. Fuck you. 
disparaging remarks. Yeah, it's like a terrible boy. Um, so, yeah, how about, how about you, Mr. T- uh, Clown Man? Yeah, fuck you, I'll do it. You you, you want to do it? You think you're actually going to do this? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, fine. Um, and you feel the house shake a little bit, and from Ricky's room, a person walks out. And it's actually, you recognize this person completely, uh, Lisbeth. The girl with the dragonborn tattoo. Oh, that's crazy. And she looks to you, Stumbo, and she's like, We meet again, Cloud Man. Yeah. We do. How are you? <laughs> Would you like to know? Well, usually. <laughs> when people ask how you're doing, like, they they particularly. Yeah. Yeah, but he's all <laughs> Why do I, I. I hear this weird muffle. Like this weird muffling talk. Hey, you guys hearing this? Yeah, what a little bitch. So, Mr. Cloud Man, I thought we would, uh, I didn't think we'd meet face to face like this, but Krampus has informed me that you, uh, had some things to say to me. Yeah, uh, first off, uh, facts don't care about your feelings. And it's a fact, you're a bitch. Uh huh. That's it. I'm gonna okay. cross my arms and shut in. <laughs> so Elizabeth goes. I won't count that one against you. But there's one thing I noticed. You know, how you counted all the goblins that did? Uh, there was three of them, and they all lost their penises. But. Yeah, but you lost a head and goblin penis you know? <laughs> Let me move this along, you fucking bastard. Lisbeth goes, uh, so as you say say that, Lisbeth goes, I'm not going to count that one against you. But you know what's funny? No, I don't actually. You. I know you don't. And that's the problem. My entire uh-huh. time I met you, you didn't do or say one thing that was humorous. And you're a clown. Really? That's the point. That's what's funny about it. That's literally what's funny about it. You say, say that you worship Spatinko. But Splatinko is actually humorous. You know, like the bone in your body? The humorous? You think you're so fucking uh, funny. No, uh, I don't, because that's your job. So, and she walks right past you and sits on the couch. And on the couch... The casting and, couch? Uh, yeah, the casting couch. And on the couch beside her and the other chairs beside her and even the kitchen table, people that you have said stuff to, Stumbo, the blacksmith Roger... Um, the mayor from uh, fucking uh, Daggerford, and people you've always tried tried saying jokes to start appearing, and they all s- see you, and it's almost like a spotlight pops up on you or plops down on you, and a mic pops up in front of you, and Elizabeth goes, "I want you to make us laugh." Really, stand up comedy. Ah, uh, he's fucking. You're dumb. making me do stand-up <laughs> comedy, really? You've never done one thing funny, really. Admit it. Just admit it. That's all you need to do. Oh. I don't think they ever say the funny. The bit is that NPC doesn't say anything funny. That's what's funny. Admit you've never done anything funny, or do something funny. You know what? You know what? I'm the funniest fucking person here. All you people stink. You guys just don't get it. Everyone else is in the know except you. You guys are sheeple. And I'm the funniest fucking person ever. So Roger pipes up. Uh, he goes, uh, you kind of only gave me, like, a migraine every Ooh. time I talk to you, Roger the Blacksmith. Yeah, your Ooh. fucking nose is fat. Shut up. Yeah. Middle uh, finger. Okay. Um, uncalled for. I wasn't insulting you. I was just giving constructive criticism. The guard up. from Seacumber, uh, the captain of the guard, pops up. And he says, you, uh, every time I was around you, I felt like I was having an aneurysm. Yeah, every time I was around you, I felt like a fucking an idiot. Krampus, uh, Shut up. Krampus chimes in and he's like, you're really fucking bombing at this. 
That's the point. Like it's not it's not really good like insult comedy. Like you gotta say something funny. I'm giving you a help because I'm giving you a hint because you're like you seem really fucking stupid. You really just gonna do that? You gonna call me stupid? I really? Mean, well, I mean, well, technically you're unfunny. Stupid's a totally different category. <laughs> He looks back to the little jar that keeps it. He's like, God damn, that thing's got a mouth. <laughs> Elizabeth uh, stands up and says, you know, the most humorous thing you ever did was shit in my house. And that was only because the poop was funny. Not you. That's fucking like you're hilarious. You're laughing at poop jokes is honestly just sad. Grow up, idiot. What happened? Uh, so, Stumbo, give me a perception check, because I'm going to imagine you're being very flamboyant with your arm movements and you're, you know, crossing your arms and flipping people off, so I don't know if you're noticing it. Twelve. Okay, so, yeah, you, you've noticed it. Uh, so, behind where everybody is sitting, there's actually a board that has five boxes. And you noticed the first one, but you didn't think anything of it. And the second and third is where you kind of can tell the boxes are being X'd out every time you say something spiteful and not funny to the crowd. So you have three marks against you already. You have two left. And Krampus goes, oh, yeah, I probably should have explained that, but, you know, you guys are kind of dicks. So I'm, I'm giving you less and less lead. Shut the fuck up, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the mayor that had its his throat cut in Daggerford uh, stands back up and goes, you kind of just seem like you wanted money without yeah. offering any type of entertainment. Can you, like, even juggle? It's like you... Cut a few pounds since the last time I saw you. What? <laughs> Looks like you cut a few pounds since the last time I saw you. <laughs> you cut a few pounds since the last time I saw you. You said he got his throat slit. You, well, I mean, yeah, but you guys healed it, remember? A tricky yeah, arm. He's got... Also, the mayor knows who got his fucking Alright, so here's how we're going to do this. I want everybody in Discord to DM me if that was funny or not. I'm letting your party vote for you. Okay, biased. I'm going, I'm going, no, 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 not biased. Because I'm going to roll for, uh, give me a persuasion roll. Give me a persuasion roll. And I'm going to set numbers I'm Mr. For, John Persuasion. Well, I'm also going to set numbers for each NPC, and we're going to do majority vote. I'm going to also let you guys vote. I'm John Persuasion, 23. You hear the guard kind of cackle a little bit, like just snicker. It's like, <laughs> fucking cut, cut. And uh, you behind the board, you see a green check mark pop up in the next box. And, Yippee! and uh now for the fun you have one more box and Krampus goes, you know by by like measurement standards, you technically have already lost. However, if you can actually get this last one, I'll let you I'll let you go. I'll I'll, I'll let it pass. You seem like you finally stopped being a little bit of a baby and I are actually going to try at this. You keep saying this shit. I'm going to kick you in the nuts. If you want to fight, we can fight after this. That's fine. Let's do it. The uh, the crowd, the crowd. you kind of talk to most of the crowd by now. And you're wondering which one's next to one st- or stand up. And they all simultaneously turn their head to the left and look at the front door. That swings open with the air coming through. And in walks a very confused and disheveled uh, man... A white man, but all of you recognize him. And he looks to you guys, and he's like, "Wait a second. And he's like, "He's like, oh, where, where the fuck am I? Um, oh God. Um, 
Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Mrs. Clown? Mrs. Clown? Aye, aye, Captain. It don't matter. uh, You say aye, aye, Captain. And NPC, this is Gen- this is Warden Matavosian in front of you. Do you remember the person you kicked off into the kind of green uh, F either NPC that had a hold of your leg when you guys got teleported? Yeah, yeah. This is that character. This is the warden. I see. Yeah, uh, he doesn't recognize you because you don't look the same. And he he looks, uh, he's like, I have, I'm very confused. I don't know why I'm here. Uh, uh, so can, you're abducted by some asshole. Can you can you help me? Sure. What? Well, I mean, I'm, I kind of I kind of want to know why I'm here. What what's what's going on? You're the uh, host of this is a comedy out. club right now. You're. Can I... That's not a comedy anymore. It's essentially a roast that the whoever set this up is too fucking stupid to realize what a roast is. That's true. <laughs> Can I put the microphone up to the glass in the jar? Well, I, the jar is not in the room. Fuck. <laughs> That's the funny thing. It's wherever Krampus is is where the fucking Dude. jar is. So only Krampus is hearing this shit. So he sits down and he's still looking around confused. And he's like, okay... Me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I work with a group that is currently occupying Neverwinter and parts of Waterdeep. Hmm. That what? No, go on. Yeah, I mean, I, I um, we. We, I, I mean, what do you, what do you want to know about us? I just wanted to know. How did you get me in this room? Magic. Okay. Are you, wait, is, is this hostile magic? <laughs> you no, like, probably. You, like, kidnapped me? Well, a little bit. Okay. Okay. So I need to... Kill you then. Yes. Damn. Well, ain't that a kick in the head? Put him. Yeah, that I gave you nothing to work with to see what you'd fucking do. Mm-hmm. So everybody, go ahead and do the vote. Oh, <laughs> all right. Thank you, my response. Twenty-two. Okay, since I'm the since I'm in the game, is my vote even count? It does count. You, you yeah. still here? Ten letters. <laughs> Were you paying attention that time, Ten? No. Apparently. He's playing okay, what did I say? <laughs> okay, dude. You fucking can't be doing this, Ten. What did I say? Alright, mm. so... Oh my fucking god. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, this is so much better. War- Warden... Warden Matavosian... Uh, kind of like looks around and nobody seems to be reacting to it. And he goes, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, that is a kick in the head. Wait, did you say you did kidnap me or not? A little bit. Okay. Um, are you sure you kicked me? So you, so you did kidnap me? I mean, maybe. So he, he now he's starting to kind of like crack a like he's got like a little like kind of half smile. He's like, okay, come on, seriously, like you kid at me? Ah, ah, he, they got like, my goo. Ah, uh, you got he's me. Giggly. He's like, okay, he's like, okay, okay. Well, this pre I, I kind of need. To, can you release me? I, I, we're doing some shit right now, and I'm kind of busy. Yeah, you you just go out the door, you know. Oh, oh. Oh fuck! Well, yeah, okay. it's a comedy club. You can you, know, you're, you're you can stay. Of, you can leave. You know what? I I might forget this transgression. I might forget the fact that you kidnapped me. Might, but uh, yeah. If you ever if you ever water around Waterdeep or something like that, and I see you, I, we'll we'll meet up. We'll meet up. Okay. Agabagoo. Agabagoo. He he kind of like stickers to himself and he walks out. And uh, 
in the box of where like your X's and your check marks are, uh, a question mark appears. And Krampus goes, <laughs> okay, wait a second. I don't fucking... <laughs> that's not how the voting is supposed to fucking work. <sighs> fine. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, you so feel... Excuse me. You feel your body have all of its energy sucked out and your body goes limp. Damn. However, you feel yourself, as your body goes limp, you're still standing there as like a hollow, incorporeal form. And uh, Krampus goes, okay, you, you got one. You got one wrong, you got one right. And you, got, you got two more chances, or three more chances? Yeah, three more. You just need to get two more and you're good, right? Yeah, two more. Yeah, this reminds me of that time that I worked at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Tardiness, late. Leaving your position at night. Uh, fucking saying that animatronics are trying to get you. Eating a fuck ton of pizza and not eating the crust. Leaving it in the kitchen. Destroying the entire facility. Running out. Running the fucking power bill through the roof. These are just number of things a reason we're firing you. What do you fucking got to say for yourself? Gabagoo. Krampus goes, alright, so yeah. One of you has passed their trial. One of you has failed. Uh, I'm built. Two failed. Who? Who was this? Yeah, uh, oh well, it, you know he's not. Really he part of your, he's not. Yeah, he's not a part of your. He's a part of your group. But he's not really a part of your group. Oh, uh, Ricky! Ricky always. You know, I've tested Ricky for many, many years now, and I mean, you you, you guys could not get out of here with your life. You know, you could die. Okay. God, fuck it. Yeah, you know, these fucking children nowadays, they don't give a shit about repercussions <laughs> or consequences. They just go, oh, whatever, fucking, uh, oh, no, Krampus, what are you going to do? Kill us? Yeah, I... Uh, I no, you're going to suck my daddy blood off. <laughs> <laughs> he, no. he turns around and he looks at the fucking jar and he's like, I swear to fucking God, I'm never putting one of them in the jar again. Never putting them in the jar. No more jars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never make it out the hood. I will say, standing up is very uncomfortable. If you don't let me sit down, I will start shit talking to you. Um, you can sit wherever you want. What? Thanks, man. You're 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 absolved. You're free of this now. Oh, I thought I couldn't move. No, you're you're like a you're like a specter right now. Actually, hey, Taco, is Ooh, this I'll canon that, that uh, he has met the warden and will the warden that remember him? Was the character. Well, anyway, NPC, uh, good shit on making inroads with the warden. That'll be handy, probably. Yeah, I, I was insulting him when I said a kick in the head, because I did, like, kick him in. Yeah, but you managed to turn it around. Good shit. Yippee. Also, John I, Persuasion. Also, the rest of the character, uh, the NPCs also fucking, like, all the uh, the non- or the characters rolled really shitty, so they kind of found it funny. They all rolled shitty. Okay. Inside jokes are good. Funny next... roll, funny. So, uh, Krampus goes, hmm. Okay, so, eeny, meeny, miny. That one. Yep, that one. A, a, uh, uh, what's his name? Bennett? Uh, fucking Ramos, uh, Ramos, however you want to pronounce it. Krampus, uh. Spanish. Krampus goes, you, Mr. Night Person. Krampus is just racist. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Night Person, you seem like a, you seem like you have a lot of purpose in life. So, so. Uh, he says, well, we'll see about that. And you feel the house shake. And from under the, the table, uh, what looks like four different pots start rocking out. And they all grow arms and they sit at a seat on the table. And Taylor, you are inside one of the pots. This is you. You have now taken possession of one of the pots. However, you are unable to physically move. That's fine. Uh, so, Bennett, the pots all turn, or all of them turn to you and say, "Hey." Uh huh. Yeah. So, so Taylor, mm-hmm. I want you to give me. A command that you would give your knight, and DM me the command. Oh, okay. 
will flip. <laughs> oh wait, that's that's Bennett. I'm damning. Hold on, let me even DM that. Uh, don't. Here. That's the wrong one. Anyone? That's the wrong one. Don't DM Bennett because. It would completely destroy them. It just Fuck. fucking yeah, worm off that. I'm just gonna tell now. you, Bennett. You will know. I hope. I got something in mind. So yeah, I'm gonna ma- I'm gonna make sure to misspell fucking all of it. Fuck you. <laughs> you piece of shit. You'll fucking know it. Ah, you son of a bitch. That ah, God, that's hard to spin. <laughs> That's really hard. To, I know what to do now, but mm-hmm. that's really yep. hard to spin. Mm-hmm. And the fact is, is that both of us know what that means. Yeah, yeah, it does. All right, all right. You should have never given me these tools, Taco. As four uh, four pots crawl out from under a table, they all look like Andy. And you know, you're a knight that has been summoned by the deck of many things to serve Andy and all he needs. So. All four of the uh, the pots look at you, and Krampus goes, "All right, um, it's very, very, very simple. This is, you know, you you have a lot of purpose in life. Your one purpose. What what what's, what's your purpose in life? Uh, I think I got to make sure this Andy fella doesn't die a gruesome demise. To serve, basically, to serve that one, that mm-hmm. this Andy fella, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. So uh, one of your purposes in life is to not." serve other people that would contradict Andy, correct? Would you say that? Sounds about right. So, uh... And I did give him free agency. We'll see. I don't care if you give him free agency. He's bound by a fucking magical card to do something. Cards are pretty magic, though, yeah. Well, I mean... Yeah, but he's bound to me and my will. Well, that's... Okay, look, it's kind of hard. Yeah, fuck you. Making, no, it's kind of hard making someone overcome their truth. I know, Taka, just go for it. I, I know, Taka, I'm just shitting on you. This, this, is, this is Krampus, this is Krampus. Uh, it's kind of hard making something to overcome your true self when, A, you've only been in existence for like two days, and B, you only have one purpose in life, and C, this is the metagame part, we've only had like one session with you, and you haven't like picked up on a particular uh, a particular habit that you've done in almost every single session uh so yeah and by the way paraphrase if grouchy was actually fucking here tonight i would make mm-hmm. her have to roll from her character sheet correctly multiple times mm-hmm. she would fail it every fucking time i bet you so that's not very nice uh well i mean it, it's also there's a little meta gaming sprinkled into this obviously but anyways he goes all right so if you're going to serve your Andy, your Lord, or whatever you consider him, sir, make sure you serve the right one. Yeah, ha 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 ha. It, it, it's kind it's of like the pack it's, like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like it's kind. It's kind of this is it, it, again hard to do this. You only came into existence, but it does, yeah, count. it does count for your team. So at least give it a shot. So yeah, yeah. the first, uh, I'm going to send the three other commands. Uh oh oh wait I can spin this I'm going to send the three other commands to each uh to Taylor and he's going to have to read what those commands are when, and we'll mark which pot says what and you'll have to figure out which one is the real Taylor so go ahead uh which number you want to talk to first Bennett number one all right Taylor you have what number one we'll say okay hey Toyota Corolla. <laughs> don't think I have to go to the other ones. No, no, I, you do. You do. You I, do. You go do. to everyone. Go to everyone. Okay, I'll go to number two. It's a command to give in battle. That, that's the command? What does number that. two say? Befriend Toyota Corolla. Mm, I see the issue now. One of these is real. Uh, Trace. Alright, so number three. Pass Toyota Corolla. Mm. And Quattro? Denounce Toyota Corolla. Which one would I say in battle in order to destroy our enemy? They all, by the way, that last part, they all say that in unisons at you. Mm. So number one says, hate Toyota, uh, Toyota Corolla. 
Two says befriend Toyota Corolla. Three says cast Toyota Corolla. And four says denounce Toyota Corolla. You said three was cast, right? Yeah, three is cast. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Oh, if you a want. chat. What? Uh, the... Roll twenty. Roll twenty. Look at the text chat. Oh, roll. I forgot there was a text chat. In case you get confused. Um, and Krampus goes, "Oh, who could it be? Who? Which one do you think it is?" Uh, actually, you know what? It's let's make just. Fun. Let's get. It's just funny make, enough that it let, fucks it up. Let, let's get. Let's get suspenseful. Tell me which one it isn't first. Let's let's eliminate them. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think I would. Mm. Be careful! You might choose the wrong one, and I'll set them on fire. Just remember, Neko Shishi. Just remember. Oh, hey, I remember. Hey, 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 hey! You <laughs> fucking cheater! Shut up! How is that cheating to say Neko Shishi? All of them say Neko Shishi. You're using fucking. Nickname all one. of them say that. That's okay. awful. Remember, it actually is good at fears. They all say remember Neko Shishi. Uh, it's a fine game. Anyways. Which one is it? Huh? Mr. Uh, Knight? <laughs> mm. uh, Mr. Knight? <laughs> Guess there's a Mr. Day too. I'm pretty sure it's number three cast. So as you say that, Krampus goes, we were supposed to like build suspense and you're supposed to tell me the ones that it wasn't. But okay, yeah, but that I, took too long. It's just, it's just Krampus, he's just like, fuck it. It's almost, <laughs> yeah, it's like, fuck, it's, like, it's almost like I'm trying to pad time for a fucking podcast, but okay, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever, who gives a shit? <laughs> uh, and as you say, it's uh, number three, number one, two, and four burst into flames and start screaming. And Demons. number three, you are... Uh, you are now transformed back into a ball, and he's like, "I'm gonna leave you out here, but don't, don't, don't make me put you back in the jar." Yo, dog, free me from this whack ass crystal prison. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so he's like, "All right, well, that's uh, that's two, that's two of you, that's two of you." Uh, I've been having, I've been waiting for this one. I have someone who wants to meet you, particularly now. Pre warning, this is. Might be the real deal, so you need to be on your best behavior, Mrs. Amp or Amp. So, uh, okay. Krampus goes, You know, I've been watching you particularly because you are the one That's who is creepy. the most. Well, yeah, but you're the one who's most active. You don't say it's creepy when Santa Claus does it, so it's not creepy when I do it. Okay? It is creepy well, when Santa you Claus. Know. Well, Santa Claus isn't real where we came from, so. Wait, what? That is Santa also, also doesn't like Wait, force what? people to like. Santa Claus wasn't Hitty real. Rooms. Where we come from? What do you mean? Where you come from? Are you not from this land? No, we're not. You have much to learn. <laughs> I'm from a deck, dog. Oh. Well, I know, I know you're from a deck. That's not really what I meant. What I meant, uh, huh? Yeah, I, that's crazy. Santa Claus not being real. What am I real? No. No. Not particularly, no. There's something that used to beat children with a fucking uh, brush. In the chunk that? Like a brush of fucking... You... Hold on a second, hold on, hold on. Now, now I'm confused. It, it... Ricky, Ricky says... Ricky, hold on. I thought you guys came from, like, here. No. You're with Ricky. <laughs> Ricky yeah, like, we're with Ricky, Ricky, and we're with the fucking... Uh, you know, we're with his thing, but, like, we ain't from here. Same thing as when you dragged in that warden. Oh. Yeah, we're not from here. Oh, yeah. well, well, you know, that actually makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, wait a second. In you, so where you're from, I'm not real? Yep. Think, think, uh, yeah. That's, that's fucking trippy. Yeah, why do you think I didn't take it seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were tripping I, again, I, like I, that I, one I, time at the school. <laughs> well, well, I, I'm just going to say, I thought you were just kind of being a dick, but... Um, so, uh, I don't know. No, because I thought I was dreaming. You're going to have people that I don't like, and it's a dream, and you're going to expect me to not be an asshole to them? Okay, fine. Uh, to be honest, yeah, technically this is an illusion. You guys have probably already figured this out, but I mean, you know... Hell no, I'm going to sit down and smoke my cigarette again. <laughs> you, you, uh, I don't really see the point being, you know, spirits anymore. So, you, you and uh, NPC actually gain your uh, corporeal form back. You have your bodies again. He's like, it doesn't really matter. Swag. Uh, but you, Amp, this is, uh, 
Yeah. This is going to be reaching a little bit. So uh, just be prepared. So well, let's get on up. Uh, in front of you, a blue light takes form and starts shifting. And in front of you, at your height, about about six foot seven, it's a full bodied Garzara. And oh, looks you, hello? Uh, Garzara looks around. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Amp. Oh, What's amp. Up? I am in a physical form, and this is fucking weird. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I was curious, uh, just out of, you know, been racking my brain around a couple things, you know, shooting the shit, looking for dice and stuff like that, and, um, are you happy serving me? Could be better, could be worse. Okay, okay, I'll take that fair answer. Uh, would you willingly, uh, allow me to take possession of your body? I need to do something. I mean, if you want to, sure. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so, are you guys trying to get rid of me? I don't think we are. I'm not. Not yet, unless you try to kill me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, every time... I've been sitting there thinking, Amp, and, you know, every time people come to talk to me, you don't show up, and, you know... I'm not saying I listen to you every guy's... Is this the Johnny conversation again? Every conversation is, or that you listen to you have, but I don't, I, don't think, I don't think you're really uh, happy that you're serving me. I mean, would you be happy if you were a slave? Yeah. You're not a slave. I mean, you did threaten our life. Yeah. But you came into my plane. Unwillingly. Like, I didn't allow you in here. Yeah, but we didn't have a choice. I mean, we kind of just got press ganged into this shit. I mean, I'll do it. I'm going to ask you a question again, Amp. Are you happy serving me? Not particularly. Like I said, it could be better, it could be worse. We're not dead. But we're still effectively a slave. So you're not going to... So if you had the choice... Between serving me and not serving me. You take the latter then, right? I would rather be free, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Single tear oh. shed. It's like the black child crying gift. I will say. Violin cue. I will say, I have no qualms with you being no, yourself. No, no, but... no, 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 no. You ain't gotta do that. You ain't gotta do that. Okay. And he immediately disintegrates into, like, a, a blue flame. And Krampus chimes in. He's like, whoa, that was heavy. Ooh. Mm. You passed that, like, by the way. Like, my nuts. Like, you, like, it. like you, you've, if you didn't guess, you kind of had a habit of lying. Or not being, not lying, but not being 100% truthful to Garzara because you're not happy with that. Well, I never talked to him, so I, I couldn't. I, I didn't well, need that, to be that truthful. Thing. That was the thing. Like I said, you're you're going out of your way to not be, to not interact with him. You know, you know what I mean. Fair. Yeah, I mean, ooh, I feel like a dick because that was kind of my doing. At the same time, this is all to teach you guys a lesson. Um, I what, learned nothing. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, you need to learn to be more funny. Uh, that is your lesson. I think you need to learn that comedy is subjective and shut the fuck up. Uh, out of character, NPC, you have been the least funny fucking person in this campaign. The <laughs> funniest thing you did was pooping in her house. That was the, the funniest bit. thing you have ever fucking did. That's the bitch. So, no, you can keep saying, I'm not funny, that's the bitch. Shut the fuck up. Cop that out. is the bit, because Taco. Wanted... Yeah, whatever, whatever. All right, back into Krampus. So he's like, mm, 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 mm. All right, now, so you guys are now, if I'm counting this right, you have three and one wrong. Hmm. Yeah. Now, I can't remember what I set stipulations. Did I say four or three for the level up? You said three. You, know, you said, said three out of five. Three. Because it, yeah. yeah, it was best out of three. Okay. Then I guess I should, well, technically you've already hit, you know, 
the the status quo. Wait, I thought we got one better. more. I we got no, one more. Wait, we can just keep going and go through this shit. We, we no, we got one more, and I think I'll I'll up the ante. Um, if this person's able to actually get through their trial, how about a rare magic item? So, a common, uncommon, and a rare magic item with a level up for everybody. Hey, Ten. Hey, Ten. Or how good are you at remembering things? Because you literally are just going to be sitting at a desk taking a quiz. That's a horrible <laughs> question. Don't answer that. <laughs> so, the mm. light in the room starts shaking, and he's like, hey, Mr. Mothman... Who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, 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 no, no. The whole room shifts, and everybody that's not Tim Letters and uh, or Satch gets pushed off into these wings, and the two panel booths come up, and you actually see a, a fully manifested Krampus, you know, goat legs and all, sitting in front of you with a podium. Big dick. And uh, uh, yeah, very huge dick in between like his legs. And nice wait, did, wait, did you ask big like big dick? Did you ask? No, I said, oh, I no I'm talking about NPC. I'm talking about NPC. Yeah. You, okay, you did ask that. I was like, Dad, here's someone asked if he had a big dick, or did I just randomly start talking about this man's dick? Hey, Taco, yeah. Taco, I want you to know when uh someone said who that was very much not Timothy's or uh, was that not? <laughs> I straight up loved it. It sounded like fucking ten letters to me. I was like, go figure, ten, not listening. I, tr- uh, I tried to do it like ten. But uh, he goes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Satch. Yeah. I have been watching you just like your friends. And I'm pretty sure you know what we're doing here, right? Yeah. You know what? That's great. Because I hope you do. Um... And that's what we're going to figure out on Did You Pay Attention for the last hour and 45 minutes? And then the uh, the lights flick around and do 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 And the, the question, he's like, question one. He's like, you have a series of five questions you have to answer. Okay? Think of it oh long and hard. You're not allowed to have any help from your friends on this. This is all you. Well, he gets, it's who wants to be a millionaire, right? No. So he gets like, a, no, get one, uh, one, one free that call. Is, that is copyrighted. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, you get one free call. But yeah, he gets a phone a friend. <laughs> I get to decide who the friend is, and you're not going to like it. So, that's fine. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, question one. When I initiated this whole extravaganza that I put you through, what was the purpose? What it, What phrase did I keep saying? To explain it. Mm. I'm not giving you multiple choice, by the way. Uh, that would be way too easy. Yeah. I want to see if Tin broke his fucking habit and paid attention. <laughs> Is there a phrase? You literally can't do that. I know I can't do that. That's a real... That is an actual flaw with Tin's character. Like, I, I'm not characters in like, the gay D&D thing. Like, actual, like, him as a person. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So, ten layers. You got five questions. You just have to get three right. You have to get the majority right. Only three, ten. You got those. So, a phrase. <laughs> yep. Yes, ten. Is a a structured for, sentence. For... You, if you at least get... So... The problem is, ten, you don't pay attention so much. If you somehow at least give me the roundabout, I might give it to you, Okay. So what is the phrase that Krampus kept saying for uh, explaining what you'll be doing in this night? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he looked, he looked said it, real or long and hard it, on this. He said it not even five minutes ago, by the way. Yeah, talk at this point. Are you even making digs at his character or his character? I, 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 I'm insulting ten letters here. Uh, right. hey, Low-hanging fruit. Oh Krampus, Krampus, Krampus starts tampling himself. He's like, okay, it's four words, okay? I'll give you that. Literally, it's four words. Let's get and this shit. He, he turns to you, to, uh, Andy. He goes, you know what? I understand exactly why you just threw your fucking thing out. I understand yeah, why you Yeah, uh, because 
You know, one, I wasn't actually aware of that, and two, I just don't even want to fucking try. <laughs> because of who was involved. So, Mr. Mothman. Take as long as you need, by the way. I can cut time. <laughs> I can alter time to make it seem like you answer rapidly. Actually, you know what? Yeah, while he's while he's thinking on that, I'm gonna go take a piss real yeah, quick. Yeah. Everybody else, you got to you got a lot of time. Don't worry. Come on, Ted. Don't let me down. I know you well, can. No, you just put an ad break in between all the things. Oh, wait, the oh yeah, the racial slurs. Never mind. You're not getting ads. <laughs> These are four words. Like I don't, I don't know the four words, but it's something about like remembering your past or something. Please. <laughs> <laughs> he said it like seventeen times. Remembering your past is that your final final answer? Hmm. That's not four words, by the way. I don't well, it's know. Not four know. words, but uh. And like I said, if you could paraphrase it at least enough, where I could be like, "Yeah, that's it." I might just give it to you, okay? Is um so is creep is here in a physical form? If what? So uh, just I'm not actually yeah, going to Kramp say. No, no, Krampus is in a physical form. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna DM you what would be really funny to say. Sure. I, yeah, if you guys, I have I have five questions about what's happened tonight, but I mean, and see the funny thing is I thought about just doing it from past events. Uh, that oh, that taco that that would be the final one. That would be the that final would be a one. fucking I, trump card if there I, ever was one. I, I that was like I thought about just doing past events. I was like no because he'll probably have like that autism hyper focused memory like thing that just goes through and reminds him of the one thing. Oh yeah, what, we did that. So that's why I made it about tonight. We're just playing with Dory. What? What? You're fucking Dory, Ten. Oh, from Finding Nemo? Yes. Yeah, you are. Oh. You are did, he act, did, he, did he get it right or did he get it no. wrong? No, he, he hasn't attempted he, yet. He hasn't attempted yet. He said something that was completely wrong but didn't lock it in. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I know. Just take a guess. Just take a guess. Ten? I guess. Mm. Please. He's, he has said it not even seven minutes ago. What? What is the purpose of tonight? What is Krampus's purpose? What what did Krampus want? Yeah, I simplified the question. You don't even have to fucking word for word it. For the love of God, prove you're not this retarded. For an hour. I know it's somewhere along the lines of like uh like like getting over your like like getting over yourself or like fucking <laughs> you know what? No no Is that your final answer? Let me think. Because <laughs> my, my, my... And this is a dead money. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 my, my vocabulary isn't that fucking good. I'm always fucking and this isn't dead money. <laughs> let him cook. Oh and that's God, what they say, say, right? No, that's, let him let cook. cook. Yeah, this one I already made like two guesses. I probably don't know it. So you can have it. more as many guesses as you want as long as you don't lock it in. It's not like that's let limited. Let him cook. Hmm. You're getting there, buddy. You're getting there. We we can feel it. You're, you're on the tip of your tongue. You know what? For the rest of the... I, I want everybody else uh, to go ahead and DM me what what the answer is. And we're going to have this cool little... Like, I want to have this little side panel. Okay, you already have my answer. That's actually the ultimate answer. No, no, I mean, what the answer to this question is. I'm going to have a side panel. If you want to take a chance and say something funny, NPC. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. Like I'm strong. almost positive. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you and fucking Dongle word for word to each other right there. Yeah, because it's a quote from you. You've said that like 17 I times. No, I know, I know. I just want to make sure. I... You know what's bad? In Ten Letters has this problem where he starts saying stuff so much, where even I start doubting myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get that, yeah. Wow. Damn, I'm fucking rolling on the floor laughing from that. NPC. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back to my YouTube poops now. <laughs> Forward. Hey, Ben, you wanna see the video I'm watching right now? Totally. Any more ultra kill shit now? 
It's open season. Please do not send me Gabriel spread at his fucking cheeks. Uh, <laughs> I see one more goddamn image. Are you guys sending ultra kill porn to each other while we're doing this? No, that's just me. Just bit it. <laughs> okay, it's not that exactly MPC, but it's something else. Funniest shit in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Quit your bitching. Ouch. So, Ten, you think of something else yet? No. I don't, I don't I think I'll just waste and, like. Time. Just guess Come something! Yeah, Ten. <laughs> Like, oh, hold on, real quick. Man. I've given him one hit. I'm, just I'm literally, th I'm literally thinking as hard as I can. I can, cannot. Just okay, give him one hit. What is the purpose? Just think of the most generic fucking. Yeah, I know. It's like over, like monologue. you know, it's like how it's like fucking. Uh, All right, Taco. Can I give him a hint? Maybe I don't know if he'll throw it away. Send, but send, send me, a, send me. If okay, how about this? Like All a fucking. I'll send it. I'll, I'll send you a hint. Everybody, There's send me a hint, and I'll pick one of your hints to read. No, because it's like Ricky. Like oh, like like overcome your fucking like. Fucking a woman, and like, like a dongle. Like, you said something about lying or something. I'm fuck. It's like overcoming something. Oh, I, I will accept that, but there, he's missing one word. He's missing. You know, Taco. I would give my hint, but honestly, I think that would be to Ten's detriment because then he would. Like, and I know have what the I know what the, the intent of this is. It's like overcoming like a, a flaw or, or like something like or a habit. Uh, random user. I got some way better than that. Uh, small penis uh, 344 sends from the audience uh, a hint for you. It's just like Saul. Liking men? Saul Goodman? <laughs> That's Saul Goodman. I don't think I don't I don't know if ten like you. No, I've watched I've watched Saw. I'm trying oh, to remember. I, I didn't believe that. <laughs> Like, I, I know what I know what Saw does. I don't know the exact phrases they say though. You don't. You don't. Okay. No. 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 Play a game. No. 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 Here's the thing. Game. You don't have to be exact. But what did what did Jigsaw try to try to do with these people? Like they fucking. Oh, you do... said Saw, not Saul. He like he like gets people and is like, oh, you you've done <laughs> like a Saul good you come into like a sin and you gotta you gotta you gotta fucking. Follow through it by fucking facing what people suffered, or facing what a fucking. You're so close. You're so unbelievably I, close. I, facing I your fears, facing your past. <laughs> no. And you've already said that. We've already said no. Uh, what the? Wh I don't know what's close. You were. Okay. You right. actually no no no. Part of what you had said was true. Yeah. It's just the. It's just part of that was also incorrect. Even with like me letting all them help you so <laughs> much. You still somehow just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. This is funny. How do you live life? How about you know, no, no, talk, let's I put a pit. I feel like you have a handler with you twenty four seven. What well, a fucking! Uh, I I know it's like overcoming like like a you like a fucking personality flaw or so, something related, mm -hmm. but it's like I don't know what the exact wording or phrasing you're looking for is. Let's come back no. to this. Let's come. Let's let's save this question as last. Let's let Ten brood on this one for okay. a minute. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Anyway, Taka, you can give him my hint. My hint's really good. Uh, wait. What was your hint? Let me read that. Oh wait, we're supposed to be giving him hints. Yeah. No, well, no, I said everybody no. send me a hint. I didn't get your. Hint. Oh, I thought yeah. you were supposed to be like sending in like the, answers. I got the last thing you sent me that was part of a question. <laughs> anyway, Taka, my hint. Uh, best hint. Guaranteed. I still have yet to see it. Resend it. Okay. I'll resend it to you since you can't fucking read. It's not on my screen. Oh, that's not a hint. That's a question. No. That's not a question. That's a... I'm not answering your stupid fucking question. I win. Oh, whatever. Oh! Yeah, that's why I asked, uh, does he have a physical form? And you said, it. yes. <laughs> you motherfucker. Yeah. Good thing Ten's not this close. Since he's real in this universe, and I know that the other guy is real, that means that I could do that. All of us could, actually. Any one of us could. Are you telling me to do that? No. I'm saying that we could. 
I mean, I'm you, saying that at that any could moment, be at any moment that can happen. Yeah, at any moment, any of us could. I'm not going to do it because that would be. Uh, that would, okay, on one hand, that would be super funny to do that because I I don't think people are really thinking about that. However, that would also be the easy way out. All right. All right. Well, anyways, so next question. Next question. So we're moving on to the next. Question, on right, question Tim? one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're moving on to the next question, right, Tim? Yeah, that's because that's why I said like, oh, I'm fucking wasting time. Like, I don't know what it is, but I was like guessing like something along the lines we of overcoming. No, okay, no, 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 ten. Just think on it. We got, we got, we got another. Have we have another two hours. Just All think right. on it. All right, so uh, we'll we'll just act like he's already answered question one, and I'll just do a whole phrase for that later. Uh, all right, question two. Who was the woman that old Ricky met tonight? Ricky, please. <laughs> and I'll kill you. They nobody, mentioned nobody, it when I was nobody, wagging on him. Nobody help him on this one. I know it's a I, celebrity. Okay. I know I know that. Oh, Although it's... A... Oh my god. What Taco, you I, did say that. Taco, fuck? you did say that. Taco, that intense defense, you did I, say I that. Said you that you said it was I some meant. celebrity, that's however... That's not what I meant. But that's what you said, That is Taco. not what I meant. If, if this is said, your no, fault, This Taco, ain't my fault. This is Ten Letters. You caused this is still this. Ten Letters' fault. Yeah, this but you know retarded. what Ten is like. Oh! You know what Ten's like. You caused this. This is your fault. This is what you get when you give when you have all this and you give Ten the opportunity to do give something. Give him leeway. When, when, when I sit there and paint the scene... When I use objective, like, okay. fucking... Oh. Taco, how long... How many times have you done that? What the And how many times has Ken been find? given the opportunity to do that? And it's been fucked up every time? How many times? Go I'm ahead. Still, still gonna try it. Still gonna Every try. fucking time. Ten Taco, I think there. you need to learn the lesson I'm of I'm trying to remember go. the celebrity name. No, fucking... Just who is it? Just who is it? Well... I don't know, fucking know the name. Um, Kylie Taco, Jenner. Please, Taco, please. No, it's Just not let Kylie me say, Jenner, no. And, okay, Taco, please. Can I, can I give him a hint? Okay, Tim. No, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. No, Hold no, on, hint. Tucker, can this I? This is not a hint. This one right here, he has to go on his own. It's not a hint. It's not a He's name. not going to get it's it. It's not a name. Just I'm going to go take a piss, but because yeah. I know he's not going to get it. Just say who she is. So Krampus <sighs> looks at you, and he start, he's literally, he's bleeding from one nostril, He's like, holy shit, uh, like, I thought, I didn't think you were this fucking dense. You really don't pay attention at all. Okay. I'm spacing out in the fucking... Well, I mean, it's just like, a, like you you were here for the last, we've been here... And I was oh, watching shit in the background, and I know all this. We've, I... been, we've been here for an hour, and I think three of these people were playing other games. This is Krampus still talking. Uh, three okay. of these people weren't really paying attention... And they're still getting these, these. Who was the woman that old Ricky met in the bedroom? I think. So both nostrils of Krampus is now. <laughs> You're going to kill him a blood loss, Ten. Uh, that might be what Ten's trying to do. He's trying to deal enough psychic damage. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think. We're going to give Krampus a D10 of psychic damage. I think it's an autism Maybe I think it starts like an L or something. Okay, Taco. So I want to. I want to say. I want to say something. Ten. You don't. It, you don't have to worry about their actual name. Yeah, I've said who, that. Like, who are they? Who are they? You don't, you don't have to care about their oh, name. Oh, the fucking. It's, it's just Taco. a fucking. Some Did like I get it right at DM dude. Person. Fucking Krampus summoned to like test Ricky. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay. That is fucking wrong. It's his wife. That was his it's wife. His dead it wife, his wife. You stupid oh, motherfucker. Wife. His wife. His fucking wife. But you did. You did some of them. I, I summoned his dead wife. I literally said those words. His, he rate. said that word for word. Oh look! I look at NPC's DM. And it said it's his dead wife. Was it? Yes, it was his dead wife. His dead fucking wife. Oh, I got it right. Neat. <laughs> All right, so you have one answer wrong. Fuck, I do not look this. Ten letters on pre warning. A, a rare magic item. Tim. A rare magic item is rolling on this for the whole party. Just, what about the level up? The level up you guys have already secured. Okay. But 
this this magic it's item man. Magic. We want magic. Sorry, time. I'm I'm really I'm really ramped up right yeah, now. Yeah, dude, can... it's just like completely melting the brain. Krampus took ten letters. Is thinking is like crossing wires with my brain, and it's just like ruining me. Okay, so, all right, next question. <laughs> I believe new <in> ten. <clears throat> I still have the phone of a You still have, yeah, you still have a phone of a friend, uh, but I get to decide who the friend is. So, uh, uh, oh, I, I had to pull myself back for a second. Hold on. We'll say taco. Don't pick me. That's just rude. Don't what? No, like, no, no, no. I'm it's, not going to be able to answer the question. None of, it's none of you. It's none this of is Ten's challenge. It's none of you. Thank fuck. All right. When MP or when Stumbo was put up on his challenge to do to actually be funny, what was the final voting count on the board? Oh, you don't fucking do the exact voting count. Yes, yeah, so I'm not gonna boxes. fucking remember that shit. Those five boxes. I'm going oh, to I, the rest of you. Hit me with the DM of what I said was in the five boxes. I know I, what I, I know what was like the voted for. It was like if NPC was funny or not. I, I how am I supposed to know the exact right, fucking amount? Because I said it. Oh, he did fuck. say exactly what was all in the boxes at the end. Is that uh, right, okay. Taco? But you're close. You're you're all. Ah, uh, I'll take it. I wasn't really paying attention to the count. So this is like out of right. This is what. Like it's like a like one out of five, two out of five, three out of five. Yeah, it's there's it's five total. Five. And it's either the not funny or funny. Don yeah. Dongle got it. Bennett basically got it. A four out of five, not funny. Only one person found funny. That's your final answer. Yeah. Okay, that is incorrect. Dick. Do you do you the 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 mental gymnastics we had to go through to get NPC to tell a funny joke was three wrong, one cur- one funny, and then one question mark because the last one did not make sense at all. But we all kind of found it funny and we left it go. But we put a question mark in that box. So three, well, the point three was, unknown, was to one fun. funny, one... No, three wrong, I said, what was one the funny, one question mark. Yeah, I said, what was the voting on the box? It's something you would know because it was odd. The voting was odd. But anyways, because it started looking really bad, three votes in, NPCs are wrong three times. So, alright, so you got two wrong. Wow. You still got... Chance. I don't think I'm gonna remember the first one, but I fucking I'll keep going. All right, that's okay. They, I mean, you know, I'm trying to help you with the first one, even after. Even You're after trying your best, one. I guess. Which numbered pot was the correct pot during Bennett's trial? They all had a number one through four. What number was it? And yeah, I cleared the chat logs immediately. Yeah, I noticed. I. <laughs> That was the first thing I was going for. I know there were the Toyota Corollas. Yeah, but there was one through four. You only gotta say a number. One through four. Hmm. Let me phone a friend. How that? Oh, sure, sure. You wanna phone a friend. Yeah. You know, I actually debated fucking you with this phone a friend. (laughs) I was going to make it your dead moth wife. And, and it was just silence. Was, it's you know, just I silence. Speaking, I was going to speak like I was just going to get up and go. But oh, it doesn't pick it up. But I'm just no, it's even the better than it's silence because she's tapping dead. the microphone. <laughs> uh. yeah, everybody else got it. So, uh, but you're phoning a friend. So now I actually have to think of someone who can slightly be helpful right there. I think you should call. Uh, you me. know what? You know what? <laughs> actually, no. <laughs> the phone starts. Uh, you. You, uh, he goes, all right, so we're going to phone a friend. And you hear Echo through the room, boop, 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 boop. Like, in, um, it was kind of weird how they did phone a friend and who wants to be a millionaire because uh, I'd imagine with the acoustics in that room, they would not be able to hear shit. So they probably had headsets on or whatever. But yeah, like an earpiece. Either way, uh, uh, you the phone rings a couple times and you hear, uh, hello? I'm back. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, Satch. Ah, what you calling me for? 
I need you to help me out on a uh, question. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you always could call your buddy Krampus when when you need help with a question. <laughs> yeah. You look, yeah. you look, you look over across. It's actually just Krampus holding the fold. He's like, "So, <laughs> what's up?" So, oh wait, what, what are you doing right now? What do you need? What question? Oh, uh, let me let me ask you about a uh, Toyota Corolla. Oh, oh, oh! You wait. Are you are you doing something right now? Like a game? Yeah. Yeah. I went to go take a piss and get a box of cheese. That's why are we talking about the Toyota Corolla? I'm again? It's a the, uh, question there. the question. The question is what oh, number okay. what number pot was uh, was you during Bennett's task? Actually, oh, yeah, oh, like I could so, just ask him and like. Yeah, play it up. We're on a fucking podcast, bitch. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hit me with the question, man. What what do you need? Do you know which uh, pot uh, was the correct one for the Toyota Corolla? Oh, um, I remember what they said, but I don't remember which one. Uh, I can tell you what they said. I don't remember which one was correct. I don't really know anything about Toyota. Well, I, 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 I kind of know what they were. It's like hate, befriend, denounce, cast. I already know that. I need oh, to know. Uh, any, any ring a bell? Uh, okay. Well, I can tell you this. Um, I don't think you can befriend a Toyota Corolla or denounce a Toyota Corolla. <clears throat> so it's probably either hate or uh, cast. That would be so, funny to cast it. And then the uh, phone hangs up, and uh, you see Krampus go, oh, fuck, they hang up on me. Damn, I hope I helped him. And he looks up, and he's like, all right, sir, that was your phone, a friend? Yeah. So, which is it? Uh, that was number hate and cast was number one, which is hate. Cast is three. I think one. Is that your final answer? <laughs> Maybe. You, I literally was your phone a friend, and I give you a fifty-fifty. You know, that's, that's how phone that's a friend a, works. That, yeah, that's well, better oh, even. Ta- ta- no, hold on, real quick. Answer the question. Hold on, I got a question. Are you asking which one? Are you asking which of these numbers belong to Taylor or didn't belong to Taylor? Belong. Taylor. Okay. But uh, all right, ten letters. One or three. Which one of these, out of these two, would Taylor say the most likely? Ten letters. Probably one, then. I'll go one. You're fucking idiot. <laughs> the fucking, <laughs> You're fucking idiot. idiot. Krampus, Krampus, his mouth dropped, and he's like... Um, Alright, so that's three answers wrong. I don't even see the point of doing the last two questions. But wait, hold on. Am I doing that math right? We did... You did three, and he got all of them fucking wrong. Well, he has to answer the first question. Still, yeah, actually. yeah, he's got one so, and five. Okay. Well. So, so he got two answers wrong. Uh, all right, so two answers. Oh fuck! I said three hard. wrong. No, three. He did four. Skip the first one. We did the last question and the first question. Yeah, we still have the last question to do. Okay, so we're at the last question. Right, so Krampus goes, "Oh my fucking!" So Krampus takes another D ten of psychic damage. By the way. You were gonna kill Krampus. Okay, so he has now taken eleven psychic damage in total, just from talking to you. And he's like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna give you this last question, but personally, I don't feel I should. I don't feel I should. Uh, I am. He turns to the rest of you in the audience. He's. Like, I don't see how you guys fucking deal with him. I, I can't. I, I That's what I'm it. saying. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Uh, That's but, why I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. They, they. I get Wait, it. I can kill people by saying stupid shit. What the fuck? Everyone that should have interacted with me should be dead. No, there, there's a difference right now. Uh, I thought you were talking about killing ten. I. So Krampus. <laughs> why is this on? Fucking shut off. So Krampus goes. All right, last question. Garzara had a certain phrase that he gave you guys to mark, brand. And or activate marks on people. What is well, that? I know this one. Hmm. God, I don't remember the lore of this one. <laughs> I would imagine you, you said you wait. So it has to be like a phrase. I know what the mark is. I think the... I'm the only person who remembers this. Or you no, mean like I, I DM'd it to Taco. I DM'd it. To taco. Yeah, I know. All right, cool. All right, it is. Well, that was set... 
it has been said a total of seven times through the entire podcast. Uh, Hold on, I've got different it. people. So it's 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 verbally said. Oh look, NPC knows it. NPC's word Maybe. for worded it just right out his ass question wise. Yeah, I'm remembering this so I can like ass pull if someone's fucking with me in the end of Mark. This is verbal. It's not because there is my best shot in the dark. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is verbal, 10. We, you, I want to change this shit to what Bennett just sent me fucking so bad now. <laughs> what did he send? Every well, guard Zara has its prisoners. That's <laughs> <laughs> super fucking funny. That's, That's so funny. super good. It's way better than what I had. No, 10. The, mm. We used this phrase to get the upper hand on someone, and we argued for thirty minutes about it. You should remember oh, this. Yeah. You, no, you that should remember sense. it. You want to know why you should remember it? Because right after it happened, you made Taylor and Dongle and NPC and Grouchy everybody recount everything that just happened in the past thirty minutes. For seven minutes, you walked all the way back there. So we just did this, right? And now we and it took this. at least so okay. That this. took forty minutes. Me fucking chewing you out took an hour. Yeah. It was an hour of just shit I had to cut. Because Taylor was legitly mad at you. <laughs> Let me think. Oh, I'm getting a call. I, love I feel, I feel, I feel like it's things. more more so I try to forget these things. More than I fucking... You should fucking learn from them instead. But I think you're <laughs> incapable of that. I genuinely think you're incapable of that. But whatever. <laughs> He's gotten, God, even he's Dunko, gotten, even you bringing it up pisses me off. He's gotten three. He's got Listen, if it were multiple choice, I, I think I think I'd, I think I'd, I'd like remember. I would remember by like association if like you made a multiple choice. And that's why I'm not making them cho- multiple. Oh yeah, choices. exactly. Fucking, I don't well, fucking remember. I, you, you know what's problem, Taylor? Or ten? To be, you know to be no, fair, no, to be fair, everything I've asked tonight, except for this, has happened tonight, within the last two hours. Yeah. So no offense. I should kill you. You could take your multiple choice and shove it up your ass. Anton, maybe you should have paid the fuck attention. Oh, fucking. That's your worst um, enemy, actually. And if I look at Roblox right now and you're playing Keep Oaken, I will skin you alive. <laughs> I'd fucking say the same thing, you fucking. You're fucking lucky you're not. You see, don't act like don't act like you're fucking recent. You do this shit too. Dude, I was yeah, reading yeah, like did, I was looking at you say, poops when you it say, wasn't uh, my like bit. I'm not like interacting in this. Well, a bit for I'm you chilling. to f- go play deep look and you're with your friends instead of playing D and D. No, what? Just shut, just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Ten, go on. Answer. You know what? You know what the answer is. I don't know. Well, I don't remember it. If if it's recalled, I'd probably re- fucking uh, trying to remember. Taco, can I give him a, a, a decently light hint, please? This is hit, hurting hit, me. Hit me with a DM. Hit, I just want to make sure. Okay. All right. Cool. Get okay. My Discord's freezing. Give me just a second. The poo poo caca, poo poo caca. <laughs> Literally brain damage. I fucking know you are. Sorry, but I'm oh, the yeah, guy who remembered totally, the phrase. You can totally hit with that. Okay, ten. Hmm. This is a six-word phrase. Last time I gave him the number six of words, words, he started getting more confused. It is a six-word phrase that we have all talked about numerous times. Not not even here. We've used it two or three times as well. I can only think of up to five words. I'm trying to I'm trying to think. I'll just let you go. I'm just gonna let you go. Well, you know what? How about you just spitball, Tim? Just spitball it. No, because I'd fucking. It's already retarded enough. I'm trying to think. No, no, I'll just go ahead. Spitball it. Throw your no, ideas out I there. I refuse. Why don't you. You know, you might actually help yourself if you talk it through. I'm allergic to that. <laughs> Damn, General Tech is hot. Hmm. 
I don't know. All, mm-hmm. all I can think of is anything related to Mark of Garzara, but I can't think of anything else. Bam, 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 oh, bam, that's part bam. Of it. Oh yeah, of course it's part of it. The question is, you're, you're asking me for the exact fucking wording. How am I supposed to fucking know? Well, you said six words. Now that, that like limits my fucking possibilities. If, 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 if I said give me the exact words to mark someone, if you needed to mark someone, how would you mark someone? To mark somebody or to know that somebody's marked? To mark someone, Ten. It's, it, it's related to your mark. It's a phrase that you were given... Is... This is to mark someone or to command someone with the mark to do something. Oh shit, we can mark people with it? Yes. We I literally just did it, uh, bef- I've literally the fucking done it. shit town, shandy town. Oh yeah. We killed yeah, the you fucking dude. when there was pi- the piss floor? The piss yeah, floor incident? Really. We literally did it that one time, but I don't fucking remember it. Man, I was like happy that I quit smoking, but I just want to smoke again now. <laughs> you yeah. stop smoking? Yeah, I stopped you, smoking you last year. <laughs> I literally want to. I just want to start. I just want to start smoking. I want to go in there and grab fucking whiskey and just start fucking screwballing the shit right now. <laughs> because this, you know, I thought this would be funny, kind of shitting on ten, but actually it hurts worse than it is funny. Honestly, listen, this makes me just well, like take my car and leave. I don't have an issue. I don't have an issue with ten. Like, what, whenever it's combat and stuff, ten's ten's good. You, you know, you know, he's, he's doing. this is literally his fucking kryptonite. I, I, I understand why you don't. Pl- I understand why you never agreed to play SS thirteen. If you played that game for five minutes, you'd you'd just fucking quit. You'd the only time I played SS thirteen was I was playing around as a gender in like the fucking like the fucking maintenance you, tunnels. You would melt down. And I found a body, and I just, I think the most exciting thing playing was, like, I found a body, and I took the med, and uh, that was it. They just took the body away. Yeah, you want to know why? Because you're not yeah. cool and funny. Oh, what am I supposed to do? P- plant an explosive yeah, in his uh, body? Just, it's just, it's, it's, come on, keep thinking, buddy. You're, you're getting there. You're getting there. You, you're, you have part of it. What the fuck? You got it? one out of the six words. One from... Now, can you, can you tell us what that word is? Garzara, Mark, fucking. Oh, oh, yeah, one of those two words. Which one of those two words is more important? Garzara, probably. Uh, may- maybe, you know. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh-huh. A- Don't worry, I'm letting this go because it's it's like he's getting further away the more you're helping. I'm nuclear. Okay, 10. Oh, he, I, I think you got one of the words, buddy. Now you just need the five others. Oh, he's still on this? Yeah. Yeah. It's just as painful <laughs> as it was. I also have to remember the first question, shit, which I still don't remember. Yeah. On the edge. Hmm. Think long and hard, my beautiful old bambino. You got it, ten letters. This is just fucking absurd. Yeah, it really is. Fucking sad. I'm not. I'm not sad by it. I'm just. You know, I'm. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm just. Because I know I'm gonna get it wrong. It's just. Uh... No, I, I believe you can get it right. You just. It just. Ten, you have to, like, we, remember. We, like you were there, we used it. Yeah, I know, but I don't remember. That's that's exactly like the why. Is there like any other hint? Like I, I'm trying to think here. Right, you can't give him any other hint without telling. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think any other hint would fucking work un- unless you like revealed like the entirety of it. Fucking. <laughs> because like as I said, like the six words that limits it, like very very like. By a lot. Yeah, yeah. it's almost like, like it can only be a certain number of phrases, you fucking idiot. A certain number of phrases? Are you mean words? Narrow it down. No, ten. No. no he does ten. not. You're not. Because it is a phrase that you are trying to say. That's six words. Uh huh. Yeah. Figure it out. Get on, white boy. You know what? Krampus, Krampus has been sitting here and he's like drooling at the mouth from just all the mental trauma that this has been dealing to him. And he goes, he's dead. He's he goes, just dead. He goes, he goes, okay, look. I'm I'm going to... I, I shouldn't do this. Just, like, put him down. Of Garzara. <laughs> no, I'm... 
of Garzar. There's the last two words of it. Just for the love of God, give me well, the first word. By the word power of Garzar or something, but that's five words only. That's the problem. <laughs> wait, Actually, dude. Taco, wait, Taco, you gave me a different phrase. What? What was... Uh, send me the phrase you got, because I thought... I got the phrase right. Everybody else got the phrase... I might have miscounted those words when you said six words. I, you fucking... You gave me a different phrase. You were the first person Two, to give four, the phrase. four, five. It's five. I think you miscounted I was the first person to get this. Hey, so it's five. This is exactly six. what you sent me. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what I sent uh, Dongle. And then we kind of changed it and we all started using the other one, which is uh, of Garzara at the end of it. Ten letters. You, you, we've used it, though. Taylor's used it. Hold on. It's a simplified version of what you just sent me, basically. It's the same fucking thing. So is it five words or six words? Five, five. words. You're not going to remember the six-word one because only one person used it, and it was only used at the time... Or, or actually, it was used at, with Raz. If I remember correctly, that's when you used it, right? Yeah, I said a five-word one. You literally said I was right. Yeah, I, that's the that's the one that Taylor used, and the one where I like have said it now. It's the same fucking phrase, basically. Fuck you. You just have to get it close Dongle enough. It doesn't fucking matter. Well, I remember Dongle saying by that the, one. By the power of Garzar, or fucking. Uh, what is he, he man? Uh, oh, he no, was... we would totally never. He man, that more phrase. like. It, I think that's dude. your that, that's the final answer if I've ever heard one. Is that your final answer, Tim? I'm okay, saying, please, let's just fucking end this, please. Yeah, I that's what I'm you. saying. Like, oh, I'm gonna go do keep wasting time, else. fucking standing on the edge. <laughs> okay, so you so you're you're taking by the power of Garzar. Is that what you said? I I don't think I think of anything else. Fucking yeah. When so, is it? Uh, Krampus Krampus leans back in his chair. And he's like, okay. It's, you know, it's by the will of Garzara. By the will. So I was like one word off. You're one word off. I, I, yeah, you were like, you were given like four I mean, words. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, Satch, I'm going to be honest, man. That was atrocious. Because the first, I, wait, you never gave me the answer to the first question. Yeah. I, oh. I still don't know what it is. Okay. It's, it, it's, it's to teach you a lesson, to overcome yourself. I said it multiple times in different uh, ways. I literally said overcome. If, I can, if that wasn't close enough, like me describing overcoming like your flaws, I don't, hey. I don't know what else is. Hey, hey, One piece? hey, hey, fuck stick. If I asked you what color is a red fire truck, and you said, well, the fire trucks can be red, but I don't really know what color they are, I'm not going to give you the point for knowing that fire trucks can be colors. Just because you're, you're close doesn't mean you got it right. <laughs> but you, you literally said... Like if as long as it's along the lines of how like how can but that you, not you be also, as close? You you didn't even overcome the right thing. The thing you were saying to overcome was completely different. I'm not even going to get into that. You, you like, had te- a fucking okay, wrong. teach you a lesson or fuck. But you it know, was whatever, more so to teach you a lesson. I said that more. Don't you fucking get pissy with me? You know, oh, whatever. Krampus, and I should kill you. So Krampus goes. All right. So I'm I'm just man. It, that was such a riveting. Night. Uh, problem is, there's repercussions to this. Because you, uh, t- or Andy, you, Mothman, Satch, you two did not overcome yourselves. You didn't learn your lesson. You didn't, you didn't beat your kryptonite as a fucking, if I would have said that, you would have got, man? you would have got super mad if I said beat your kryptonite. But... Am I checking off? <laughs> uh, Zingo! You're fucking so, Zerkin, bro. I'm fucking but, Zerkin. But you know what? It's fine. Where you fell mentally or you fell spiritually, you can overcome it physically. And the, the room now, all the podium shrinks into the floor and the room is flat again. Uh, but instead of turning back to the tavern, it's just completely bare. And he's like, I guess this next part will at least make up for all the mental strain you put me through because hopefully uh, this teaches you a lesson. Uh, so all of you are back in your body and on the opposite side, uh, we're just going to use Goku's penis. Uh, so right behind you, you hear, uh, you see a big board come up with all of your names on it. 
and beside it there's a little box and on dong or amp it hits a check mark on stumbo it hits a check mark on um, uh on ramos or ramos Whatever you want. Okay, I'm just gonna say it that you mark. had fucking Krampus reverse my shit. I had uh what? Re- Krampus reverse the shit he did, remember? What do you mean? Or at least to me, because I because he you're literally said, back. Oh shit, he's I'm not back, Yeah, everyone's back in their physical forms, remember? Yeah, you're all you're all physical. Yeah. Hey, this is this is the repercussion from Felly. So uh-huh. Anyways, so the name Satch pops up, and an X pops, or a red X pops on it, and the name Andy pops up there on the board, and a red X pops beside it. And those two red X's fly from the board and hit the ground, and two figures stand up in front of you. They are very, how do I put this? They stand up, and they are about, how tall are these things? They are... This tall, you not, can't see it because I'm doing it like not, in, in, not in, specified, it. but it's fine. They stand up and they're about five foot two, uh, very round looking. Hey, is that Hunter? Re- very round looking with buff arms, completely covered in blue fur, not wearing clothes with goat feet and goat horns, blood uh, red, just completely jagged teeth and sharp claws. And Krampus goes. Uh, usually you have to be punished for your uh, inadequ- inadequacies. I mean, hate to hate to do this, but it's a lesson. It's a lesson. So everybody, go ahead and roll initiative. Krampus goes. You know, I hate hate. I don't hate this part of the job, but you know, it comes with the part of the job. Uh, my Yule lads, right here, you're gonna have to handle them. Uh, where you lack it spiritually, you'll learn a lesson physically. So go get a pizza. Hey, cook it a pizza. <laughs> Mamma mia. Mamma mia, papa da bucci. I gotta add fucking... I got my cool. Uh, ten total. Uh, Stumbo. Uh, I got a... a roll, I got an eleven. Eleven. Uh, ten letters got a seventeen. Uh, Andy got... I got five. Just a five? You don't have anything for it? Nope, got a okay. five. And for, uh, what'd you roll? I got an eight. Uh, well, I rolled a seven, but plus one. Okay, cool. All right, so, uh, do you have your health put on your character? By chance? Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> you do that while you're doing it. Uh, so let me adjust everybody. Uh, uh, maybe it's because you were actively participating in that game show. I was, yes. Oh no, I'm talking about ten letters. But ten uh, letters. never mind. <laughs> oh wait, no, never mind. They're the Yule lads are going first. Oh boy. <laughs> so as the ca- or the the scenery po- or kind of melds back in and the lights come up and you're back in the cabin, two very large creatures, uh, covered in blue fur that look basically like a really fat Santa Claus with claws and teeth and horns and pig uh, goat legs. Uh, stand there screaming, and they immediately take off running at uh, Satch. So they are going to, or one's going to run up to him, and the other's going to run to Andy. So we'll do the first attack. They have a. If you hit me, you're a fucking gay Sonic OC. So this is just me, or do I see, only see like three turn orders? Fucking list. Sonic Unleashed. Yeah, I only see that. Though. You only see, uh, you only see three turn orders. Well, yeah, I, I see three three people in the turn I, order list. I, I got the turn order right there, so I'll, I'll just call you out. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Uh, green ones, AC. Yeah. Yeah, green ones, AC. So let's okay. do this. Is for Satch. So Satch does a. Are those are 20, those attack rolls? Yeah, it does a twenty. I know a twenty hits. Does a. Uh, eight. My armor armor class is fourteen. Oh, okay, so both of those hit, and they're going to do just 1d6, 1d6 plus 4. So the first one first one hits 8 damage, and the second one hits 8 damage as well. So 16. Yep, 16 damage. Uh, and now, Taylor, mm-hmm. Mr. Yule Lad's going to attack you with two claw attacks. Uh, I assume... Uh, what's your armor class? It is nineteen. 
Okay, so both of those hit. One got a 24 and one got a 19 exactly. So they're going to do now. That is six damage and nine damage. So 15 damage. Okay. And that will be the end of their turn. It is now Satch's turn. Okay. Uh, I literally just can't do combat, so take all my turns to skip. Let's see. You can sit there and just fucking harass them. <laughs> yeah, actually, is there taunting? There is taunting. You could impose disadvantage, I guess, with taunting, but you could do melee attacks. And then instantly die. <laughs> yes. Let's say that in this perfect world, NPC, you have a spellcasting focus, okay? <laughs> like It's not... beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So with that movement, uh, Satch. Yeah. So did you dash, uh, or are you taking an opportunity of attack? Oh, it's my turn, isn't it? Yes. You ran out, you were face-to-face -face with someone, you ran out of their space. Oh, so I, I have to, I have either, to like. You either da disengage, or you take an opportunity of attack, which is just one attack. Actually, could I say use a reaction when the guy attacks me? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've, uh, I've disappear, and so I can, if I take damage, I can use the ability to move up to five feet, without provoking opportunity attacks, and attempt to hide. That's okay. part of the same reaction. Okay. Well, act like we did that when he attacked you and did damage. Okay, but I can also, like, after th after that, if it's my turn, I can also move. Yeah, go ahead. So, I guess I'll I'll move there, okay. and I'll I'll attack. So, there. All right, so with your your sniper rifle, um, you have it. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know that. Well, hold on, this is before, right? Yeah, this is before. So yeah, so I, this is just I a also, lot. I also need to get with you because I have a plan for it. Okay, so I just use the longbow for now then. Yeah, just use the longbow. Alright, 17 hits. So 5 damage. No, no, it's just 4. It's just 4. Okay, so then minus 2. Gotcha. Alright, yeah, so you actually hit him with the arrow and it, it, it seems like it pierces the fur a little bit, but it doesn't seem like it does a whole ton of damage. He seems pretty healthy. So, alright, uh, it is now NPC's turn. All right, cool. So since I can actually like do magic, uh, I'm going to. I actually, when your turn starts, Krampus like does like a Looney Tune, like pops up from the ground, but his body is kind of contorted. He's like, "Oh, by the way, Mister uh, Sumbo, it seems like you're not going to have fun unless you jump in on this. So here, he hands you your spellcasting focus. Now, do your turn. Okay, I'm gonna do hold person. Okay. Uh. Gibbity gobbity goo. 16, does that hit? Uh, 16 hits. Alright, uh, I'll have to keep concentrating on it, but he is held. Which one? Uh. Which you one? pick, buddy! No, you pick, because both of these have Fuck. different targets. You have one right in front of Andy, you have one, uh, beside Ramos now that did a lot of damage to 10 letters. Yeah, the one beside 10. Okay, so that one is now held. I'll put... He's paralyzed. Paralyzed. Target must concede a wisdom saving throw be paralyzed for the duration. So do a wisdom saving throw when it's his turn. Okay. Wait, uh... No, that means... It, it said on his turn or just do the wisdom saving throw first? Because I thought it was do the wisdom saving throw first and then... see. If I guess do the wisdom saving throw first. Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say if it takes what's, my what's your spell, spell save, but what's my spell, spell save is 13, so he wins. Okay, so yeah, he has not paralyzed. Bitch! It is now Amp's turn. Uh, Alright, cool. Let's see, so who's hurt? Ten's hurt, and... Andy, how did you... Oh yeah, you did take damage, yeah. Yeah, they fucking sat there, gave me the fluoride stare and hit me for 15 damage. After I had said something along the lines of "You look like something out of fucking Sonic Unleashed," kill yourself. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna use That's my. That's really accurate of what they look like. I'm gonna use my healing surge to uh, heal Taylor. 
since he's within five feet of me. Okay. But so we do this. That's so twenty. All right, and then I'm going to let's see. So since that happened, I'm going to use my bonus action to use Mender's Rebuke on this Yule lad in front of me. Okay. Uh, DC eight plus um proficiency plus wisdom. So it's eight plus three. So it's thirteen. So he has to do a Constitution saving throw of fifteen. Uh, that's a six. All right. Uh, so he takes twenty. Da- he takes twenty radiant damage and is knocked back ten feet. Jesus Christ! Uh, it is now Bennett's turn. Oh my goodness! Ramos. Okay. Which which fucking goon is in front of like next to me? The one that damaged uh, ten letters is in front of you. Okay. I, I grapple him. Okay. Uh, what do I roll for that? Uh, D20? It's going to be a contested strength roll. Okay. So, so D20 plus your strength modifier. Okay. I got a 20 plus 5, 25. Uh, that was, 20 was mine. Oh, it was now? Ah, I rolled a 7. I forgot I was the Kiwi. Anyways, 12. Uh, so. you have, he rolled a crit. Do you have, My do you goodness. Have any, do you have any abilities that modify this, Bennett? Uh, let me take a look-see. Hmm. Taka, go ahead and think up your wonderful soupy action for stupid bullshit. Uh, I, I definitely have a soupy action for bullshit. You know, I don't believe I have a workaround for this. Okay, so as you go to grapple him, you, you like grab him. You come. So, <laughs> you come. Uh, he had his Not back. Not funny, dude. <laughs> he had his back like looking to where 10 letters was, and you were kind of like at his back left side. So you try getting under him to grab him, and he just raises his hand, he looks down, and he's like, oh, that's oh, that's cute. And he grabs you and chunks you towards Amp. Now, I'm going to roll, how many feet are you from Amp? Let's see. 30 feet. So we're going mm-hmm. to do, I'm going to roll a D10. Or, uh, we're going to just roll a D20 and see if he fucking throws you that far. No. Yeah. D- d- how about this? Dongle, you choose D twenty or D one hundred. If we do D one hundred, it'll be exact by feet. If we do D twenty, it'll be kind of a guess. Uh, D one hundred. Okay. Here we go. He <laughs> chucks you eighty one feet. Mm. With his crit, he fucking he catches you from the back and he gets a full spin, and you guys turn into a tornado. Like on a cartoon, and he releases you, and you fly directly into Dongle, who is going to take D6 of uh, blunt damage and be knocked back five feet. Whoa, I, wait, hold me. up. I don't get a dodge from this? Oh, wait, yeah, you can dodge it. Yeah, give me a dexterity uh, saving throw. Um, it won't affect your dodge action either. It is a, it's an 11. Oof. Uh... With an 11, it ain't that hard to dodge a flying body. You flatten yourself on the I mean, if I'm going 81 feet, I think you must have thrown me pretty fucking hard. He threw you pretty hard. I, I'm going to say it's going to hit you. 11 is not going to do it. And you both are going to be knocked about 5 feet. You're going to take a D6 of uh, blunt da- or force damage. And Bennett, you're going to take that D6 as well. Don't okay. care. I'll let you guys Do I roll for that one? Yeah, uh, I'll okay. let you guys roll for that. I uh, two. I need that bad of damage, but... Alright, so... Uh, is that the end of your turn, Bennett? Uh, your level can five, I... Do... You got two actions, so... Hmm. What's Amp again? What, is, what does he do? He sucks cock and doesn't pay attention. No, that's... Me, dumb. you fucking idiot. That's dumb. <laughs> Talk about someone who doesn't fucking pay attention. <laughs> uh, uh, man, and, sucks and cock. Hitler, basically. Oh, that'd Your be bad idea. Yeah, you man. can't technically harm people. No, I can. I just don't. Yeah. 
Mm. I'm gonna farm. You know, I don't think I can do all too much here. You can run up and attack with your greatsword. Oh, well, that greatsword does a pretty decent chunk of damage. I could also try to just grab someone else too. Oh wait, movements. I thought movement was a different action. Uh, yeah. Well, have you moved at all? No, he has not moved. Uh, no. Uh, all right, uh, uh, probably 30, 30 feet. Mm. I think is what you would have. I yeah, I can make that. Uh, do I run up on the same fella? I wonder. In his pockets. Rob him. Steal. Kill. How do I tell how far else is uh, there's tickle a tickle him that. so he has disadvantage? On the top, in the left side of roll twenty, there's this thing that looks like a ruler. Oh, you oh. look it and you drag from where you are to them. Yeah, that, I'll be fine. I can go there. Uh, I, I I go over there and I try and grapple him again. And this hey, is you, where I you take <laughs> front. Yeah, go ahead. And give a contested strength roll. Okay. Twenty one. He got a. He's got a plus four to his strength, so he got a seventeen. So you got him. So you he's Thanks not grappled. Lord. That's great. His movement speed is zero, and he cannot or he has disadvantage on attacks. Hmm. Wait a moment. Hold on. I have an idea. Ah, uh, never mind then. It's an attack action. All right. So, All right, I guess that's it. Huh? <laughs> it is now Taylor's turn. That's crazy. Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's blowing brains out. <laughs> All right, so Taka, I'm just gonna sit there. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go fucking measure this shit out. It shouldn't be more than twenty feet. Yes, all right. Oh so my god. Fucking move over that motherfucker. Oh shit! I forgot I was still on the ruler. I'm going to move over to that motherfucker from Fortnite. Uh-huh. Now, is he still looking at Mr. Moyai, or is did he turn around to go look at me? So that that one right there was the one that Dongle uh, blasted back. So that one is facing both of you, basically. Okay. Then I'm just going to sit there, and I'm just going to fucking smack him in the mouth, Troy. So we're going to see if this hits. Yes, sir. So, duh, oh my fuck, that just doesn't hit. Uh, okay, never mind, never mind. There's not even any of my, none of my bonuses. No, never mind. Because that one doesn't hit. Yeah, even, the, that's a nine, by the way. That, 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 no. no. Okay, does a fucking 19 hit? Yes. Alright, cool, let me hit. go, let me go sling that fucking name of your yes, Read this shit again, bro. It's a fucking five, bro. What the fuck? Do five. five damage. Alright. You come up and fucking cleave just a small chunk out of its shoulder, and it, it wrenches in pain, but it's still looking pretty good. Grouchy is asleep in the bed. <laughs> Killer! No, no, go, go <laughs> shake your wicker up. She is going to roll the snore. She got 18 on the snore. Oh my goodness. So she's snoring. She's sawing logs. You guys can wake her up. Uh, is she actually, like, in your house, like, asleep? No. Or? No. Dude, I, I was uh, fucking expecting that she was. Fuck. No, if she was here, she would be in this fucking call. It is now the Yule Lad's turn. And, uh, alright, so this first Yule Lad is grappled by Bennett and is going to make an attack at disadvantage. Uh, so that is a 9. I don't think a 9 hits you. I, I don't think so either. <laughs> I'm asking because you have a 20 AC. Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. the one who made. I'm the one who made that. I, 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 me and Bennett worked long and hard to fuck you over. It's okay. He's also going <laughs> to do it on his other action to break out of that grapple. I uh, sure hope he doesn't that win. Is a crit another fucking crit? Why do they always crit me? <laughs> I, I, usually, I'm the crit fell roller, but so he, uh, so he tries hitting like stabbing his claws into your uh, your plate melt. But you can't really get the like the the momentum built up to do any type of damage, blunt or piercing. So he immediately grabs you by your uh, by your plate mail, realizing it's futile, and he's going to do it again. He's going to start spinning at rapid speeds like a tornado, 
and he's going oh, to this chunk fucker you does. again. <laughs> Only because he had our crit. He only throws you 11 feet, so we're going to round it down to 10 feet. So he's going to throw go. you that way. So. Every fucking time. So you, he's no longer grappled by you. And it is uh, now the one in front of Andy. Uh, Andy, after you hit him, he is going to do... Um, hold on. Andy, give me a DC 13 constitution saving throw. Okay. I already passed. Okay. So, he immediately opens his his eyes, fixate on you, and the piercing red eyes kind of start glowing blue, and he shoots this large ice beam from his eyes that... As it hit, or goes to hit you, you just kind of like brush it off, like you just slap the it away. George, I just do like the George Bush just missed me. Yeah, <laughs> not George Bush, the Ronald Reagan, the Ronald Reagan missed me. Yeah, he, he, Ronald Reagan missed me, and uh, save the effect. Oh fuck! So you're immune. You're now immune to that it's move fun. for one it's hour. Fun. So. Uh, that is his I'm only. Just, I'm just gonna say, get the get that fucking dollar store Pokemon attack out of here, Sonic Unleashed. So he uh, <laughs> he he found that. So now it is now Statue's turn. I'll just do a dash then, and then an attack. So sixty feet. That should be far. And uh, attack. I'll attack the closer one. Okay. Fucking nine. Okay. It doesn't. Does it hit? No, nine does not hit. Okay, then yeah, fucking then, then, that's it then. NPC, Subo. Hello. It's your turn. Ten, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, not good. Yeah, you said an eight. Seven. Ah, uh, well, ten letters. Lucky for you, I just happen to know a guy who knows a guy who happens to just be so good at doing absolutely fuck all nothing. And letters. grappling people that are next to you. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my moment. Over here, right. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'm going to grapple the one near Ten Letters. Ten okay. Letters is the dog, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so give me a contested strength roll. Okay. I like you guys are keep trying to grapple these people. Pre warning, they have a lot of fucking strength. But yeah, yeah well, I kind of noticed that. But I, I've come up with a new idea. I'm just I'm gonna not fucking baller. punch them after that. I went right, my turn. So you rolled a seven, right? Stumbo. Uh, yeah. Okay, he rolled a. F- that is a eleven. So uh, you go to I hate grab- to see it. You go to grab him, and he just fucking slaps your hands away. Damn. Is that your only action? Yeah, I'm a bard. Wait, why are you grappling as a bard? I don't know. Oh, I just wanted to try it. Well, you have yeah, you saw him action, fucking right? it up twice, so I thought, two, I thought he... You have two attack action. I do? No fucking way. You can way. use another one to move you're away if five. you want. You're level five. You have two actions, my man. Okay, well, then I'm going to use my second action, and you know what, Taylor? You had an amazing idea. I'm going to tickle him. Yeah, I was going to say just tickle him so that way he gets a disadvantage. Give me yeah, a I'm sleight of hand roll. Sleight of hand? Yep. Dude, and I my should... hands. He, he's going to make a contested constitution saving throw. You're kidding me. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? He's not going to make that saving throw. Worst tickler ever. No, do you, it. Do it. You, you, no, no, he doesn't need to, but okay. No, 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 no. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So you go, ah. so you crit failed, which you're trying to tickle him. So when you go to tickle him, <laughs> he is going to, you, you, for some reason, you don't understand the concept of how to tickle this thing because it's a very odd looking creature. And, uh, what, once you start going for it, you try for some reason going up and tickling its chin, and it just bites down on your fucking hand, and it is going to do 
If it does, it's just going to do a D6, just like its regular claw attack. So, you take three damage, because it bites you on the hand. Can you believe that? Can you? Can you An absolute you barbarian. So, alright, and that's the end of your turn. Alright, Dongle, your turn. Um... Uh... Before we get started, I want to look up. Are there any chandeliers in this place? Uh, let's see. Let's roll to see if Ricky is a boss ass bitch. Ricky is not a boss ass bitch. His wife died, and he just kind of let the place go to shit. There's no chandeliers. So there's nothing on the ceiling. Uh, there's there's some candles on the wall, or so. There's rafters, but that's about it. <laughs> All right. Well, um. Uh... I know exactly what I'm going to do, and I, uh, so Taco, I want to spend, uh, with my apprentice witch feet, I want to spend both of the unlucky points I have, I want the roof to collapse on them. I want to weaken the structures of the roof so it collapses down on everyone in that radius. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what were you using to weaken the structures? Uh, both of my unlucky points for my apprentice uh, witch feet. Sure, okay, that's fine. We went back in time, and uh, when we f- go forward in time, before we fucking leave, Ricky's like, oh, I really hope you wish you didn't put a fucking hole in my roof. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of, oh, I have a bunch of STDs to deal with, he's like, I gotta fix the fucking hole in my roof you gave me. Well, good, now you don't have to worry about the STDs as much, you should be too you busy to fixing your goddamn roof. No. Okay, so it just happens? This, count- this just counts as an interaction. Okay, so, uh, you cast, uh, you look up and you do the Jinx thing from Teen Titans, yeah. Uh, the thing that she did that made Cyborg, like, sexually assault her. Stop with that joke right there. Uh, okay, dude. So- <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. We've you all seen that? it, but we don't need to hear it. Yeah, so you do the I Jinx, haven't. you look up and you do the Jinx thing from Teen Titans, and the roof itself caves in. And I'm going to give everybody... Where, where is it uh, falling at, exactly? Uh, directly you... in the center between uh, Bennett and... Uh, well, Ramos and... Uh... So, like, right here? Yeah, right there. Alright, so I'm going to give everybody a dexterity saving throw to dodge out of the way. Uh, these guys... Hope you can dodge. These guys are not really dexterous. They're kind of fat. Uh, so, mm. so, that means... So, my... So, that means Bennett, uh, Taylor... The Yule Lad and NPC. All of you give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay, boy. <laughs> All right, so uh, the Yule Lad does not make that. I got a 15 total. Thank God I have that. a plus 6 so I can roll a 1 and get 7 and fail. So I got a fucking 8. 12. Okay, so only. So Yule Lad and Taylor are the only ones that don't jump out of the way. Um, That's a gain, I think, probably. So, so gonna, I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give that a D8 of damage. You have the fucking ceiling collapse in on you. So he takes two damage. Taylor, you roll your own. Okay, I take eight damage. Take eight damage. You took eight damage. Holy yep. shit! So yeah. Damn. So when the 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 roof starts collapsing and everybody jumps out of the way, and the Yolat and Taylor are floor eyed staring at each other. And what happens is the the beam falls and hits Taylor and bounces off him and smacks the Yule Lad in the face. But Taylor caught the most brunt of the beam. So yeah, he would take the brunt. So it is now uh, you got another turn, don't you? Or another action? Standard. Um. Yeah, I think I do. Oh, I'm not in range of anything. Shit. How injured is are you, Bennett? Uh, not at all, pretty much. <laughs> I will like, I took two damage. Oh, so, Doggo? I'm gonna ready what? a dodge. What's your second action? Um... It tends too far away for me to heal, so... Actually, I could move to him. Let's see, my radius is ten feet. Is yeah, that works. And I'm gonna move up, I'm gonna move up here, and I'm gonna heal ten up for five. Okay. On the earth. So. So ten layers gets five health. Oh, whoopsie! That's the wrong dash. No, I have to roll for the healing because I'm using my healing points. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm back to blow. I rolled the wrong dice set. Okay. That's the right dice set. 
So 10 21 health. Game, 21 health back. 21. And I can't, I can't use Mender's Rebuke because it's out of range. So whoopsie. Right. Anyway, oh, that's the end of my turn. All right. It is now Bennett's turn. Okay, I'm I'm going to move up a little bit and I'm going to try and just punch up the evil lad over here. You got a great sword. Oh. Can I drop it? it? Yeah, just fucking throw it away. Just... Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. Start punching. Alright. Uh, do, uh, do I... I roll 20s to, to see if I hit, yeah? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna use both actions on it. Alright. Okay, you, I... You hit with both of those. Okay, so... I punch is a D4. Oh, uh, it's a D6 strength. because of a class thing. Oh, okay, and plus your strength mod. Uh, yep. So that is 7 plus 11. That's 18 damage. So yeah, you fucking, you rear back this fist. That's a fuck ton damage for a fist. Uh, yeah. You, you cold cock this motherfucker. Like the Rocky Balboa punch that sent Drago into the downslope. That, that is, that was fucking, literally was almost mirror image of it. Yeah, why the fuck was I trying to grapple him? What? <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, uh, I'm Mr. Andy. Okay, I'm gonna do the same shit as last time. This fella right here in front of me, I'm gonna send him to the damn smackdown. Yes, sir. Does an 11 hit? Uh, 11 does not hit. Alright. Does a 12 a hit? 12 does not hit. Okay. I call him a bitch-ass motherfucker that stole my fries, and then that's gonna be the end of my turn. He, uh, cries internally because that hurt his feelings. Alright, so Grouchy's gonna roll the snore. Grouchy's still sawing those logs. Alright, it is now the Yule Lad's turns. Uh, this Yule Lad, I'm gonna do the one right there in front of Taylor. It's going to do... Everybody, go ahead. Uh, that is... How big is 15? Fuck you, I'm immune. So, uh, actually, all four of you, give me a DC 12 constitution saving throw. Wait, aren't, uh, seriously, though, aren't I immune to this? Are you immune to cold? No, but you said the last time... Oh, it was the red... It was the eye laser effect. That is, this a, 12 uh, is this a cold attack? This is a cold attack. I'm resistant to cold damage. You take half damage if you fail this. Okay. You said D12? Yep, D12. Okay, well, I got a 23. The NPCs don't go rule D12. The 13. Okay. <laughs> NPC crit fail. No, I didn't. You did crit yeah, you did. All right. So, awesome. So, Andy passed... Um, I pass. I get a thirteen. What'd you get, MP- or NPC? You got a crit fail. Hey man, lower's better. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Lower so, numbers are like I'm number one. So Satch, you failed. So yep. who? Okay, so NPC Satch and uh, where is Bennett? Where am I? That's the wait. Problem. What NPC? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking smack you. Why? You're nowhere near what I said. You don't need to roll well, this. Well, I'll be damned. I said, I literally said everybody in the front of this one down here. I did the best. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to get it on the fun. You fucking I wanted to off. get it on the fun. <laughs> you know what? With that crit fail, you're going to get it on the fun. Fuck you. No, I'm checking. Okay. Aw. Bennett, roll me a constitution saving throw. DC. Oh, okay. Uh, I got so uh, confused when yeah. NBC came in. That's a 20, isn't it? Uh, it's not possible to scream yet. Yeah, D- uh, D20. Uh, save, sorry. Uh, 18. You might have like a misfire. You said DC 12. 19. So I'm like, ah. Alright, so. Um, so the only person that fell is Satch. But Satch Lovely. But Satch, you're only going to take half damage. So basically, it's like... Every, well, everybody takes... Everybody that passed, you take half damage. Satch... Even though you failed, you only take half damage. So, it is... What? That was so much walking through. I gotta pull the dice up for this. It is 5d8. 5d8? Well, I'm gonna die. That, that's a given. So you take 10 damage. Yeah, Everybody I'm dead. Takes 10 damage. 
How did you take? Wait, how did you die? I just healed you for twenty one. He, he didn't pay attention. He didn't. Pay oh, attention. you're fucking okay. You straight fucking... up said it, and he didn't respond at all. I went, he ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Actually, yeah. You know what? Ten. Fuck you. Don't get healed. No. Nah. All right, fine. I'm dead. Fine. I'm dead. Why, Why don't you pay attention? No fucking. Oh, I don't fucking. Don't worry, Ten. It's only a Christmas episode. Oh yeah, Christmas. <laughs> it's like Christmas morning. <laughs> it's just like Christmas. You know, that's right. right. You can, you can, use, you your, you can use your one I'm, I'm Christmas wish to bring yourself off. back, buddy. It's a real Christmas miracle. Dude, it's sorry, beginning to look a damage. lot just like Christmas. Everybody down there, except for NPC, take 10 damage. Uh, except for... Dude, um, oh, I mean, I, uh, can you believe it? It's a Christmas miracle. Ten managed to barely survive that encounter with <sighs> one hit point remaining. How much ten, damage do I take now? Ten. Just ten. Just ten flat, okay. Yeah, just ten. What's a recharge on that? Uh, that doesn't have a recharge. But wait, I thought, wait, hold up. If ten's resistant to cold damage, and everyone here takes ten. Oh wait, no, because ten didn't fail the saving okay, throw. So yeah, you still so, take ten damage. Yeah, he did. Uh, so, so the Yule Lad inhales really big. His belly gets super large. And he blows out this blasting cold in a fifteen foot cone, and his breath is just. Ice biting cold. And Damn, that shit like stank. Shit. Yeah, it does smell like shit. It does smell like shit. But uh, also, I'm gonna say that out loud. Just, just, I'm gonna say that out loud just to make it feel even worse. Why why do you keep insulting this poor guy, man? Uh, because it's easy and yeah. he's stupid. Alright, so uh NPC <laughs> the Yule Lad in front of you uh is going to glow his eyes and shoot a laser or chilling gaze at you. Give me a <gasps> DC thirteen constitution saving throw. I got it this time. I'll roll a D4. Crit fail, crit fail, crit fail, crit fail, crit fail. Crit fail. I, wish, I hope you crit fail. Nah. It's an 11, isn't it? It's an 11, isn't it? It's a 12. Is it a 12? <laughs> Alright. So. You're going to take 3d6 cold damage. So, let me pull that up. <sighs> Ten. You take ten damage, and also, you are now paralyzed for one minute. Okay. Uh, Wait, what? Repeat. One minute? Oh, fuck. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turn to break the uh, the paralyzation. Ah. Uh. So, uh, but you are now paralyzed. Basically, you can't move, attack, or anything. So, it is now ten letters turn. Okay. The one in front right, of ten, fuck the, up. the one that just damaged you is pretty beaten, pretty fucking hurt. I'll just shoot a single arrow then. If it fucking lands, that is. It won't. Well, you can shoot two arrows, but go ahead. Can't. Well, what do you mean shoot two? Don't you have two attacks? You get no, you not this, not yet. I'm fairly certain you You're have multi attack at level, level five. five. No. Are it, you sure you don't? It, no, yeah, it's updated to fucking level five. It, I don't have uh, extra or multi or whatever. Aren't you a, a sniper? Oh, I, I don't know. It's a cut. It's a homebrew it's a class. Type. You have to attack. Go ahead. Okay, fine. Fucking. Does the first one hit? Uh, what? Twelve. It's twelve. No, twelve does not hit. Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen. Try it, I guess. Five damage. All right, five damage. You fucking catch this bastard in the gut. And it actually deals some pretty fucking harsh damage. He's bleeding. Yeah, that's all. Alright, that is now NPC's turn, who is paralyzed. So go ahead and do your constitution saving throw of 13. Oh. No. I'm free. I was hoping it was going to be the one. I saw it roll. I, don't I was waiting right there. So you now you're unparalyzed, but that is all you can do on your turn. You are now immune to chilling gaze. I'm giving him the middle shower. finger right now. You can't. He, I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, it is now Dongo's turn. All right. Well, uh, I am going to. Let's see here. Actually. It's for fucking hold on just a second. My I don't know what roll twenty did, but my CPU is getting eaten and it's fucking everything up. So everything is wanting to pull up slow. Awesome. 
I have it all planned out if my fucking shit would work. I can't even scroll my sheet. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, I know. I don't know what Roll20 did, but, like, it's fucked up now. Alright, I'm going... I'm Actually, yeah, that works. I'm going to use Eldritch Blast on this motherfucker in front of me. Okay. Wow, I haven't... Yeah. I didn't know you had Eldritch Blast. Yeah, it's from my me fucking... Too. It's from my fucking uh, Apprentice Witch feet. Awesome. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna split the beams since I think there is two. Yeah, Elder yeah. Batch is hundred. Yeah, hundred twenty feet. I can do that. Uh, range spell attack. Well, one of them fucking missed. <laughs> Wait, I got a crit fail and a crit success, literally back to back. How's that work? Okay. So- Damn. So That's nice. How how it's gonna go is you're gonna uh, so you're shooting two eldritch blasts, right? I'm shooting an eldritch blast, and I'm having the beams split. Okay. Because at level because the beams start splitting, the higher level you get with eldritch blast just can't trip. All right. Uh, I have now thought in my head. Uh, heads or tails? Roll a d two. Roll a d two. I forgot about that. Yeah, well, uh, obviously, I've already, two I've already, I've already because. Obviously, D2, uh, I'm going to pick Tails, a 1, because Tails never fails. Well, it doesn't matter. I've assigned Tails to two people. Or Heads and Tails to two people. So just go ahead and roll. All right, well, fucking, I have to figure out how to do this shit again. Forward slash roll, space D2. Oh, yeah. I forgot it was the chat. That's kind of it... what I So, you... Take uh, you shoot your Eldritch Blast, and t- the beams start to split. And with your crit fail, uh, the beam splits and shoots right over the Yule Lad's shoulder, while the second one hits him directly in the chest. And the one that split over his shoulder slams into Stumbo. Stumbo will take that damage. So what damage are they? <laughs> so the crit damage for the, that one blast will be double. On the Yule Lad, and then Stumbo will take regular damage. Alright, so. <laughs> the Yule Lad takes 20 damage, and NPC takes uh, 1 damage. Alright, cool. Because guess what? I got 18, by the because way. Because guess what? I got a 1, a 20, a 1, a 1, and a 10. Those are all maxed or at the bottom. I love I fucking roll 20. Hate roll 20. Dude, my <laughs> hacks are fucked up right now, bro. <laughs> Damn, you're spin bot fucking up. So which um. so 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 the Yolad took what which one did he take? The Yolad took the twenty damage. Okay, he took twenty damage. What did uh Stubbo take? Uh one damage. Okay. Yeah, lucky. But uh okay, cool. So <laughs> God, yeah, you're right, that is fucked. So it we, is fucked up, and I'm gonna. I get another. I get another opportunity because this is just one attack. I got. I get one more. So when you hit that Yule Lad in the stomach, it actually. This is even better. Uh, when the beams actually split, the one beam is in front of. Uh, in front of the other, that first one blows a hole completely through the Yule Lad, and the other beam goes through it and hits Stubbo. But, hits him right in the fucking eye. And the Yule Lad falls down with a whole big circle in his stomach and just dies on the ground. So, <laughs> so one of well, them there's one dead. gone. Yeah, one of them are dead. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to make one more attack with Eldritch Blast. Alright, go ahead. And uh, I'm just going to focus both beams on it because, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really have anywhere else to go. Actually, I could shoot ten. You very well could. You turn around. Hey, ten, watch us. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a. Uh, I have a plus four to it, so I have a twenty-two and a fourteen. Okay, twenty-two and a fourteen, both of those hit. Okay, so I'll just roll two d ten. Eleven damage. All right. You smash him with your, or that was in our Eldritch Blast, right? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you smash him with the Eldritch Blast, and it fucking the magic sears a giant mark on his stomach. You mad? Yeah, he is mad. All right, All right that's, that's the end of that. Okay, I I go walk up to him, and then I start punching him. That <laughs> the timeless strategy. Timeless. Okay, I so I roll twice. Doom a twenty. A crit and a fifteen. Nice. It's twenty-five and a twenty. So I guess I just punch you. Yeah? I just uh, well that first one. So. <laughs> That's At a special. First, yeah, you roll double damage on it because you crit it. Ah, cool. Here we go back. We're back at what, it um, the fucking crits and. Hold on a moment. What? No, wait, it'd be the same. Never mind. Hold on, I was thinking about stuff. Uh oh. Okay, well, both of those hit. One of them do double damage. Okay, I roll twice. I got a. That is seven. No, fuck, I'm stupid. That's nine. No way, <laughs> That's nine way, and an eight. The way crits work, man, is is that uh, whenever you're doing crits, you add your modifiers and then you do the double damage. Okay, so eighteen and fucking eight, so twenty six. Okay, so. You got 26 on the first hit, right? Uh, 26 total. 18 on the first. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so 26. So you fucking keeping on this, this Rocky Balboa swinging energy you got, you fucking catch him in the stomach and take all the wind out of him and come with a good-ass uppercut and break a couple of the teeth in the bottom of his jaw. And uh, he is staggered, but he's still still in the fight. Oh, lovely. Uh, that's all for your turn, right? Yeah, that's it. Alright, it is now Andy's turn. Taylor? Oh, little Tay Tay? Come on, Taylor. I don't know why I'm so fucking in ready. Yeah, okay. I'm here. It's alrighty. Alright, now I know you're never going to believe this. I'm going to swing with my battle axe. Alright. Damn! You're never going to believe that. I didn't believe it at all. Seven damage. Alright, so seven damage on the first one. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm assuming that hits again. That hits as well. Alright, cool. I'm going to fucking hang myself. Yay! That's a one plus what? That's, a, that's four damage. Okay, four damage. So you, even though you're rolled low in damage, you start carving out the fucking the chest. This thing is hurt. It is very, very damaged. Uh, all right. So mm-hmm. Grashi's going to roll the snore. Does not mm-hmm. snore that well. Mm-hmm. Kind of, mm-hmm. kind of stirs in the sleep. Kind of. I'm hoping she gets sleep. a crit fail and chokes on her tongue. That, that's why I was kind of rolling for. <laughs> all right, your lad is this guy's turn. He is going to take one step back, but he's still in Stumbo. And, uh, one step uh, forward and three steps back. He's going to take one step back. He's still in Taylor and Stumbo's attack range. Uh, it, Bennett, you get one free attack on him. Oh, I do now. Yep. I'll try and punch. I will punch. Uh, 17. That, that hits. And then I roll a. Might have just accidentally killed him. Oh, okay. Don't, Pow, right. don't worry, it's fine. I know. Pow, right in the kiss. So oh, that'd be a six. Okay, so six damage. Yeah, that he I, as he goes to walk away, you kind of fucking catch him in in the stomach, and he staggers back, and he's still got some energy, but he's going to now need. I need. I need NPC, Bennett, and Andy to give me a DC-12 constitution saving throw. A fucking good guy. Oh, oh my fucking god, I got an 11. <laughs> I, right. love, I fucking Oh, I got a 1 platform. plus 1. No, no Bennett, you fucked yeah. it. You have to roll a D20. Yeah, D20. Oh, oh my mistake, I'm sorry. A 17 plus there you 1. Go. Okay, so 17, so only 
NPC Only fails. NPC fucked up, yeah. Alright, so... I'm to die. NPC take 15 damage, and everybody else take... We're just going to round that I have three down. Health. We're going to down that to 7 damage, so in, or Bennett and Taylor take 7 damage. I have three oh. health. Well, guess who's kicking the bucket, then? Uh, yeah, so he steps back after taking that punch from Bennett, and he rears up, and he just blows a massive cold air over all of you. All right, taco roll to see what it smells like. D100, let's go. D100, if it gets up... D100, uh, one positive, 100 negative. All right, uh, yeah, okay, okay. And, uh, let's see what it smells if like. If we roll a, a one on this, or no, if we roll a zero, I think you roll zero as a D100. If we roll a zero, NPC, you will be poisoned. Nope. Fuck off. So Damn, uh, what's it actually smell like? smells like gingerbread and... Candy canes because you know, uh, but Yule lad, you, Yule. I want to. Yeah, I want to yell out, "Fat fuck!" Uh, he is still crying. He's been insulted many times tonight. Because <laughs> it's easy. Yep. Uh, it is now Tindler's turn. Okay. This thing is barely holding on by a thread. You could you could just walk up and shoot him, and he is dead. <laughs> what well, does does walk? I still have to roll like a attack roll when I walk up to him. No advantage. Or... Don't don't act, don't actually walk up to him. You're at disadvantage if you're in, if you're like too close to someone. Okay, go there and I shoot the bow with the the two attack. Okay, go ahead. Fourteen and twenty one. Fourteen and twenty one both hit. So total nine damage, five four. Okay, well that that should be yeah that is enough. So with your first arrow, you actually bring him down to one health. Uh, it pierces his his fucking shoulder, and with the second arrow, you just dead brain him in the head, and he falls over dead. And as he falls over dead, the world actually starts shifting and melting, and everything goes dark, like all of you are falling asleep. Like everything lights back up, and you're standing in the same spot, but it doesn't have this weird glow or you know, like someone put the bloom effect. And you look up, and the hole is not there anymore, and. uh Ricky actually comes down the hall, and he's like, Oh, hey, uh, uh, guys, took you guys a while. <laughs> took you a long time. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy. And uh, a booming voice comes over. All right. Well, I never want to fucking visit you guys again. <laughs> Ever. Just... Holy shit, that was terrible. That was... Man, uh, you guys really need to work on yourselves. Mainly talking about one person here. Only one person. Other other people, you have some flaws, but... Fuck. Um, yeah. Ricky, please stop having sex with so many objects. Particularly the rats in your basement. And, uh, yeah, I'm just... I'm gonna I'm, I'm fuck off. Help. I hope the rats got their present too. Ricky's had sex with them so much; they have to have gained intelligence, right? Uh, I hope. I, I I'm not answering. I need that. some fucking money. I hope the rats got presents too. <laughs> I, I'm not Santa Claus. Santa Claus is canonical. Please, I'm so fucking poor. So. Yeah, but like, can you please, for the love of God, give those rats a boon? They look. <laughs> they need everything I can get, dog. You know what? <laughs> they are. Those rats are suffering. Can you give me like? A hundred tons of uh, adamantite, please. <laughs> It'd be so fucking cool. I, that is not what I'm. I'm, I'm just he, uh, he, he on the table. A sack pops up, and he's like, "There's your fucking uh, yeah." I I don't even remember how many people passed and how many. Fa- I don't remember. I there's your fucking your prizes, whatever. I don't give. A sh- I'm fucking. I'm leaving. Everything goes quiet. And Ricky's like, oh, well, that was quite the adventure. We did it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you guys did it. Yeah, we, sat, we beat Krampus' task. You know, hey, I got... money. the best thing about Krampus, I don't know if he told you guys this, he brings families together because he has brought my dead wife back to life every single year, and I have nutted within 30 seconds. Oh, boy. Can't wait for next year to fuck my dead wife again. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to say your wife was ugly, but I don't know about corpses. Uh, she, well, she's not a corpse in that. Well, she's brought back to life. She was ugly. Well, yeah, but knowing you, you probably had sex with her corpse. 
I do not have sex with her. Wait, he turns to you, Ampy. He's like, what, do you, what type of monster do you think I am? You have sex with goblins. Animals. You have sex with animals. They are there. Um, how do we know that? They consent. Did the I mean, rats consent? The rats no. Did consent? The rats did consent? I gave them cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, yeah. really? Cheese? Really? If I go talk to those rats, are they going to say they consented? Yeah, of, of course. Of course. <laughs> I want to go question the rats. So you go downstairs and you use your speak with animals trait uh, to the rats. And uh, were, you like, coer- were you coerced the, the into giving rat sexual that, favors The big rat that was money. guarding the book when you initially went down there uh, pipes up and sees you and was What's going on, boss? What you need? Were you co were you coerced into sexual favors for uh product and or items of of value to you? Were you coerced into sex? Are you referring to the man who keeps fucking raping us? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> and, and as he says that, the sponge monkey goes, and God bless us, every one of us. <laughs> and the, the fucking camera zooms out with the j- jingle camera, and you fucking see Krampus riding off on his damn Harley that shoots fucking flames, <laughs> because, and bleeding I, from I both orifices. He's fucking, he's just so over this bullshit that he went through tonight. And Santa Claus is like, I'm not fucking going to that house at all. Thank you for listening to another episode of Prisoner of the Gazara. If you enjoyed what you heard, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on YouTube. Do the shit that you would regularly do with people you enjoy their content. I really appreciate everybody who listened. And I'm so, again, I'm just fucking sorry for the delay. It's been, I do it all myself and I do all the editing. It's just, it's a lot sometimes. And when I got sick last week, I got completely behind on everything. I've been trying to start more streaming, uh, like streaming regular games and making other content besides the Prisoners of Gazar. And um, yeah, but enough of my excuses. I'm a little bitch. I'll get better around it. I'll get back on track. I'll get you the content you guys like. I, again, I appreciate everybody. So I hope you did have a happy Christmas, happy holiday, and all that bullshit. And I hope, I, mean, I hope you're starting 2023 out. Right. I hope you're, you know, got your mind set to whatever goals you want to do. I mean, shit, Andrew Tate got arrested, and uh, I don't know why I said that. But anyways, thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys in the next episode.